coffee time and a big day on Bassmaster.com. Look, volume two, Zone Alive. We were supposed to be on Lake St. Clair, but a storm from the east kind of slapped us in the face, so we're going to be on Sneaky Lake. But a storm from the south decided <laughs> to join us on Sneaky Lake on one KVD. 16 hours straight from Toledo Bend, man. We have been looking forward to this. Been planning for months. And this past week, God, the weather just got us. It's gonna blow in in a little bit, but we're we're gonna put a smack down. We're gonna we're gonna mega smack down them today. Here's what I can tell you: I have a caged animal that's been sitting out here for an I hour. I want to jerk my jerk bait. Welcome to Zone Alive, presented by Humminbird. <laughs> Boom, Everyone I can cast. <laughs> we're back. Whoa. Give me something right there. That's a big one. Gigantor. Holy cow! Look at these, dude. <laughs> yeah, bud. That a boy. Yeah. How about that right there now? Yeah. <laughs> Got one. Game over. Lights out. Woo. You're watching Zone Alive. Brought to you by Humminbird. We're going. We're going real quick, gang. We're going to give away a bunch of prizes today. Now get ready. The grand prize later today, best viewer question, right, Such? Let me introduce the gang. EK, Eric Kafka, the Such, Vandy, camera boat right there. We're going to give away a bunch of prizes today. Hashtag Zone Alive. But look, gang, I'm going to be dead serious. This first hour is kind of critical because there is a storm that way Tell coming me what in. I can cast, see? Let's go. We on. All right, here's what I want to do while KVD's running the boat is this little lake that we're on. Kevin actually made the comment. Did you win a tournament here when you were 16? I won a club tournament here when I was 16. 16. But the beautiful Back in thing. The, day. the beautiful thing about, about this lake. There's not many small ones. Ah, I hate to say that and jinx us, but yeah. there are great biggins in this lake. Sneaky Lake. Lake Mender Chuck. Got the first cast out of the way. Mender Chuck. A lot of history here. And here's basically what we're going to be doing today. These are all big black pre-spawn largies. You can see there's, I mean, the trees are barely budding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was shocked. I came from Toledo Bend and it's like summer down there. I'm and we here. did, gang, I'm not gonna lie. We totally were gonna do this on St. Clair. Like it was planned. We were gonna yeah. do a Zona show yesterday. I'm we were gonna do a Zona show. And then a Z Live there today. But the winds have been so bad Yesterday was one of the real calm days, and we actually, we did a, uh, a Zona show right down the road from here in Southwest Michigan. Great biggin? No. Tree. But we may, we may not pull the trigger a ton of times today. Oh, but they'll be camera worthy, friends. Cold. Don't jinx us. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying nothing. Got up, oh, big and hooked up, big and little and yeah. He's as he says, that's a pretty nice one, man. <laughs> as long as I'm biting that jerk bait. Yes. Uh huh. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, it is. God, that water's pretty too. Look at that. Oh. Oh yeah. Let me break it down. What we're doing here? We got the old Strike King KVD. Bluegill color jerk. These bass up here eat 100% bluegill, perch, things like that. So, and you can tell when it's early and cold, they get that red mouth in there. I love that. They don't do anything but walla. Well done, KVD. Oh yeah, watch here. <laughs> You're gonna be picking that jerk bait up here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, run and gun today. He was shallow. He was really shallow. Oh. Megan, I got one too. I oh. got one too. It has started. Oh, he came off. 
Oh, is it a great biggin? <laughs> it's a good one. It oh, is gosh. a good one. That's old. That's yes. what you call a Vander yes. Chuck. That's a, that is a Mender Chuck. Oh, we had a double. I suck. Yes, bud. Look at that one. Hang on. That is the start of Zone Alive. <laughs> that is the start of Zone That's Alive. That's a good one right there. Look at that big old pre-spawner. Look at the red mouth. That's when you know. Look at here. Sooch. I'm locked up. Oh. Biggin. <laughs> oh. I'm casting. Here, I'm gonna hold this out. It's a biggin. They're so cold they can't do anything but wallow. Oh. I got a mender chuck. Ah. Uh, That's a walleye. It's a stick. <laughs> it's a stick. That's so funny. It's a stick. It was a stick. It was a stick. I'm All tweaked out of my mind. Boat, dude. Oh, it was digging though. It was digging. Oh, oh gosh. No. Oh. See, I'm not gonna lie. I don't want this to sound the wrong way, gang, because you're sitting at home having coffee. Is, is, is I knew if they started throwing, biting a jerk bait, it's over. He was gonna throw it all day long. Zona's a jigger. Yeah, I'm gonna have he my stuff on the bottom all day long. Can't help but throw anything but that jig. We actually really would have been right so now. dangerous if we would have got together back in the day fishing team right tournaments. Uh, I did. I, I, I the stick fought hard. Dude, I saw, I saw it jump. I know. And I, but the thing was, when I was fighting the stick, the stick came when, off. When the, when the stump too. came up and shook its it head, it was big. awesome. It was sure enough biggin'. It wasn't a twig, it was a... Oh, we're gonna catch him. Oh, it's gonna happen. You we're know, gonna, when it's cold even. like this, people, people think you wanna go on a nice sunny day. These are the best days, no man. No doubt. I shouldn't have let that other one pull off. And here's the thing, gang. Here's the thing. Seriously, this break that we've got here on Lake Mender Chuck, it's like a half mile long. <sighs> you got bit there, though? Mm hmm. You, you had one slapped? Yeah, I, I had one on. That They're on that nice side, right at the, you know, just around the, the corner. What a lovely start. I'm ready to start burning down the lake. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I have about the, you know, patience of Jackson and Nicholas. Okay, I gotta make my cast. You wanna run the troll motor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the cast is okay. right at the tower. Got it. I it's think. All good. Just do what you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fish bottom stuff the whole time. No swim. Little grab, little grab. Cabbage, cabbage. And what there'll be is there'll be from like seven to 15 foot, there'll be cabbage and then rocks mixed in. I'm on the shallow jerk too. I didn't have to throw the deep one. Oh, we had a double. Yeah, you had, yeah. you did have a legit one on. No, that's the cast right there. Not actually one that was a stick. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> I fought a pipe wrench in the current at the, on the St. Clair River, <laughs> a pipe wrench one time for 10 minutes. Thought I had a world record smallmouth. You know how that current oh, we're is. We're not right? even close to where they're at yet. Oh, they're there. I'll bet you the other side of the point too. Yeah. You and gang, hashtag zone alive for the suits. Any questions? 
We've got that uh, auto chart live going too, so these lakes are not mapped at all. Yeah, this, this lake's not on the, on the uh, Lake Master. If you look at that, Wes, we're actually creating the map. Yeah, we're... Yeah, when I first started fishing this lake, I, you know, you shoot, we had no idea. You just follow the weed edge and didn't realize there was any humps or anything like that. But like that one, that one that Kevin caught right there, that's like the average. I mean, we're we're gonna catch nice ones. Catch nice ones like that. that. Well, this time of year, all these lakes, they it's just they're a lot bigger. We never used to be able to do it. They changed the season here in Michigan so you can catch and release. Most people down south have no idea. Like bass season doesn't open in Michigan until Memorial Weekend. I'm gonna rewind time real quick where we're setting right here, right where we're setting here in about 20 to 30 yards. I taped a whole jig show with Carl Jacobson two years ago this week, right where we're setting. Biggins. And what you'll, what you'll, what you'll find on this time of year up here is when you catch one, generally they're potted up really good. Okay. Watch, watch me sneak right in here. Well, that is the side. start of Zone Alive. I just wanted to go right down that drop. That's fine. With the old jerk and twitch. A lot of stuff's going to start happening here in about 50 yards. And gang, we're going to kind of we're going to kind of be serious fishing before this storm hits. The, uh, we're, we'll try to get a radar up in a little bit. There's a storm pushing from right there across the lake. It's a, it's gonna, it's gonna hit. I don't, we don't have any lightning or anything though. I think it's just gonna be just rain. See that was not that, that radar right there. That was not supposed to, that was not supposed to hit until Really later today, we were supposed to get showers, but it was, it's gradually got bigger. Through the night, I woke up this morning and it was all red. It's dissipating a little bit as it hits the land though. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's we'll be our good. hope, but you know. The fish are already wet, that's the beauty. And here, here's what's cool is, is we, we taped a Zona show yesterday. Eric, Such, Vandy. Kevin wasn't home yet. Kevin wasn't here yet. I was driving home from Toledo Bend. Right. And the, the show that we taped yesterday, here's how cool this is. We taped 10 minutes south of where we're sitting right here outside of Kalamazoo. We taped it 10 minutes south. And the water clarity, the water clarity, you could see down 25 to 35 feet of water, and it was almost all smallmouth. That's how diverse all these lakes are up here. And we caught big ones yesterday. Did you catch any yesterday, Z? Oh, it was so fun. <laughs> okay, we just starting to get in the zone. I wouldn't mind just sneaking in just a little oh, bit shallower. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. Just so I can yep, yep. go right down the... Yep. When we get to... When the water's this cold, I points. love to... Oh, yeah. See, it's just perfect. Yep, yep, yep. See, like, I went shallow there. I was only probably six foot. Oh, really? Okay. But you're going to start feeling rock, like, real soon. So that's six foot right there? Mm, not much. Oh yeah, it's coming up fast. 
Uh-oh. Oh, I thought you... Cabbage, 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 <laughs> cabbage, cabbage. I've seen that too many times before. Oh. Kevin, you were like a caged animal for one hour before we went live. I couldn't stand it. Yeah, I'm killing the bottom with the deep jerk right there. Yep. Cabbage. Don't fish many lakes on the tour where we can cabbage. And, and gang, I'm serious. The, the prizes we're going to give away from our partners of the show, TH Marine, Bass Mafia, Trocar, and Humminbird. I'm not talking small prizes today. Dandies. Helix 10 Mega Imaging. Helix 10 Mega Imaging. Grand prize winner. That's, I've got four of them on my boat, that same unit. This I exact like one right here, we're giving yeah. away today. Social media, yeah. Social media power hour, 30 minutes. I can't believe I haven't gotten another bite. Let's pull, let's pull out just a, just a hair, just a hair. Oh, I gotta get the poison out. Not seeing the bluegills and stuff on this side like, well, we were out waiting for an hour. <laughs> right when they were biting. Yeah. There it is. Yep. And what this will do, what this will do, we map this whole thing, and it's mapping right now as we sit here. This break's gonna go all the way down here, about a quarter mile, and it's gonna bend, and when it bends, hoo hoo. Cabbage. Some rock is gonna start in a little. Yeah, that's, that's the goods down that way. Cabbage? Yeah. Okay. Surprise, there's just uh, three bites there up on the... I know. And for the folks at home, for the folks at home... Oh, it's good. Really? Cabbage. Cabbage? We're gonna go at them with a swimmer, a jig, and a jerk bait. Really? No, it's cabbage. All day. All day. That's what you that's what they're in right there. It's and you can see how I mean even after the winter it's still real green, broadleaf. It's it's a mainstay type of grass up here. It's a really good cabbage clump right there. There's got to be one around that, you would think. That's what the bluegills live by. That rock's going to start right down this way. It's right there. Cabbage? Shallow, shallow, shallow. I'm going to put the shallow one back yep. on and try yep. to see if they're up on top of that lip. I'm all tangled up. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna sneak on the inside of you and throw okay. up on top. Here, dude, just go down those line of waypoints. You run it and I'll yeah, no, it's... I'm just going to throw stuff on the bottom anyway. It's an actual fish. Believe it or it's not. It's an actual fish. <laughs> it's an actual fish. 
Not a stick? I don't think it's a stick. I think I've, I, I think oh you. my gosh. Some great big Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, Giant. I'll mess this up. I will mess this up. Here, here, bring oh over. my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, are you kidding me? That's a day. Oh. Six plus right there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a giant. Ta-da! I mean, That's show it. enough biggin. <laughs> I, well, we got to take a commercial break here in a little bit. <laughs> Holy oh. mackerel. Tip That's a biggin, dude. Oh my gosh. That's a 15 year old bass in Michigan. That's six plus, easy. See you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Bam. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. I don't want to say this. I think I just peeped myself. <laughs> Look at that. Might have to Look tie a jig on. Huh? <laughs> Little rage bug. Oh my gosh. We gotta get ready for that power hour. <laughs> oh my gosh. I I I I I hooked a little piece of cabbage and it snapped out and the rod just went. Mm. They don't get much bigger than that in Michigan, dude. They just don't. Oh my gosh, what a first hour. It's gonna be a fun volume two of Zone Alive. I'm throwing that to our first guest, Greg Hackney, that little Ewok down in Louisiana. We're 22 minutes in, dude. We've got two for 10 plus. Gang, if you're just sitting at home or at work sucking on coffee, we may do a Zone Alive for 10 hours today. <laughs> Biggin, 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 biggin. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's another freak mamba. It's another mamba. Oh my gosh. Kevin, that's huge. That's huge. It's huge. You see the one with him? I'm dropping a weight point. Look at here. <laughs> Grab the fish, I'm gonna get a dang jig out I blacked there. out. I blacked out. I blacked out. The storm is coming. <laughs> Look at the size That's of that free spawner. That's a five, easy. Yeah, it's on five. Five all day. Oh my gosh. Kevin, you see? Oh, 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 uh -huh. oh, hooked up. I mean, see my Megan. free spawn fish, these are transition fish, Kevin. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You need help? I, 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 I think I'm okay. Words. Just a four pounder. Oh my gosh. That's a nice one. Yeah. I was gonna make the challenge today, 20 pounds yeah. for our best We're there. five. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Good one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Kevin, I gotta retie real quick. Look at here. I'm backing us off, I'm backing us off. That one was up on top. You're catching them out off the edge. Jig. What like a start, man! Are you kidding me? I didn't catch him this good at Toledo Bend. <laughs> Let me see you. Are you there? Chunk. Dad gum chunk. Good and right there. Stood. It's like one of those deals, do you, do yeah. you jerk? Scrapes. I'm easing up on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just hold this off. Oh, you what a start. Oh. See, that same thing happened yesterday. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. one didn't just bite it, did no, it? No, that one. Bacon? No. The cut. You put on a jig where you should catch a big one. What happened there? I gotta try that. I, I, as much as I like to jerk, I wanna get a jig That's bite. That's awesome. <laughs> I want a jig bite. That's awesome. And Kevin, what these are is just your typical pre-spawn fish. You see what I mean? I mean, these fish, they're waiting to, you know, like go up, you know. 
Listen to him with the pro talk. You know, it, uh, wow, wow. We're not even to where they're at. That's the best part. <laughs> well, I'd say they're there. <laughs> Let me get me right. Okay, I'm gonna get us right. I, I took out my gloves off. I've been grabbing them out of the wall. Oh, oh, oh! He come off. You're Gosh, kidding, dog! It. That's why I throw there a jerk bait. That's why I jerk bait. <laughs> Yeah? God, dog. Did you hit it good? Yeah. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I know we're only an hour into it. I love you. <laughs> I'm going to cry right now. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I miss doing this, man. We, we used to do it a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We spend more right time on. on the pontoon boat than we do on the bass boat. I'm right on the juice. I mean, I'm right on the nut. I don't know. I had the... Did you feel any rock? Uh, I did not. But I'll bet you I... That's the juice right there. Yep. How about catching a six and a five and I lay down the rage bug? Just laid it down. <laughs> Just shunned it like I didn't even want it. Well, you thought you were going to catch an eight on the jig. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's all that. Biggin. Biggin. Oh my gosh. Good ones. You got him? Yeah. Get up in here. Get up in here. Wow. Oh. Yeah? I yes. This is the most magical day in the history of my life. Good one. Is it? Big and I'll help you. I'll help you. Here we go. Is Come it? on this side? Yeah. Okay. That was like the best jig bite ever. <laughs> Gosh. Are you kidding me, man? <laughs> what the heck is going on here? <laughs> Kevin, I know you can want a tournament here when you're 15. Look at here. We just want another one. <laughs> Look at that. Oh you my gosh. You think he wanted gosh. that jig? Kevin, give it mm -mm. Dude, holy cow. Wow. Soup. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. oh sorry. Ah. You got it? Holy oh, cow. Gosh. What, what is happening here? Gigantor is in the house. Look at that. Whoa, what's he doing? Oops, that's my, my line right there. Yep, 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 yep. Right, Listen, let me show you something. Z Zona. Huh? I hopped that jig and he went. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's one I want. That what? one that one's for Jackson and Nicholas. They're at they're at college right now. They're at Grand Valley State, sitting in their dorm on their lap. Oh! Big <laughs> that one right there is for Hunter and Jacob. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Are you kidding me? Wow. Big in. You got him? Big in. Big in. That's old horse face loach. Get over here. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't catch him like this at Kentucky Lake, Gunnersville, any place, man. Look, that is a stud. Yeah, the boys got SATs today. They weren't able to come out, but we're going fishing tomorrow. That's the first cast I've thrown without a bite. Holy mackerel, right dude. There. Look at that. Magic. Magic. Little PB&J structure jig. Hackney always told me, throw PB&J in the morning, Z. Always in the morning. <laughs> All right, you got it? You got it? You got it? I pulled through that cabbage and it went like this. <laughs> mine went, mine went, Bonk! Oh my God. I kind of want to jerk that jerk bait no, over. No, 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 no. But you keep all that steel down. 
That's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah, it's not. We just had the perfect. Deals right there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We had the perfect weather for them to be biting today. Mm. Uh, what what just happened? Uh, seriously, I have no idea what just happened the last thirty minutes. It is seven thirty or eight thirty one. I'm in rock right me. there. I'm in rock right there. Yeah, you're fixing to get lunch bucketed. But here's here's the deal. Let me show you something right here. As we're going along, this is filling it in. It's on auto chart because this lake we were talking about doesn't have a map. And here's all. Oh, look, 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 look. He ate the juice off. Uh huh. Wait, let me let me show you what we got going here. Let me show you what I got going here. But we're making the map. We're making the map of this lake because it doesn't have a lake map. Oh, oh gosh. I, I don't know what's Bacon. Happening. Is it? Now. <sighs> Just a three and a half. <laughs> Unbelievable. And it's, I mean, I know. It's like, hey, Zona, I think I could get to like this jigging. No, I know. Oh, I said, this is for all my friends at home. If you ever watch Kevin Van Dam on the Bassmasters, or you watch him in some of his match fishing, when he gets going with a jerk bait, he'll make babies cry, okay? <laughs> There's gonna be steel flying. And I thought to myself, this is for my buddy Greg Hackney out there, I thought to myself, if I could get him to slow down and put that jerk bait down for an hour. <laughs> I'm doing this in honor of my buddy Hack. Uh, exactly, little Ewok. Oh, you think he would be freaking himself oh. out? You know, the only thing, oh, oh my God, he slacklined it, man. Slacklined it. Um. The only thing better than hopping it through the grass like that is dragging that football head through the rocks. <laughs> I like that. Are you feeling too. the rock up there? Yeah, I didn't. Okay. No, well, when I feel the rock, you know what usually happens? Yeah. I caught that when I was fishing inside, through to the left, throwing okay. just a little shallow. But I would say about right there. In all sporty. honesty, and here's what's really weird about this, I'm actually being serious. Settle, I got to settle myself down for a little bit because we're not even to where they're actually at. Um, <laughs> I'm serious. You're saying that. I gotta retie. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta settle down. Uh, little KVD chunk, structure jig, half ounce. Um, what, what goes on in March, April, and generally November, October, November, mid-October, November, is all these fish that live on these flats. All these fish that live on these flats. And under the boat docks. And, and under the boat docks and stuff like that throughout the summertime. What they'll do is they'll pot up on these little cabbage turns. All these little cabbage turns. And we'll graph this later today to, to really show it. But here's the thing. I'm being dead serious. Something for you, Such, a little news note nugget, is we're just on a little naughty sneaky lake right here. Guys fish this lake. I don't want to give, it's just Lake Menderchuk. Um, there's like 30 of these lakes within. Mender Chuck. Exactly. There's, you can ask Kevin, like the lake that we're going to tomorrow with Hunter and Jacob equally as good. Yeah. There's 11,000 lakes in the state. So, and, and most of them are like this where they're two to 500 acres. And they all got grass. And just like you said too, I mean, you can go to one lake and it's all largemouth and cabbage and lily pads, and then five minutes away, it's deep, clear sand, rock, smallmouth. Okay. While we're while he's fishing, I'm just gonna get all re-rigged up. I'm a little bit of a mess right now. I, I keep moving away from him. No, it's okay. And just uh, go ahead, stay right on him. No, I'm just saying I haven't I didn't I haven't had a bite now. And Have not. A couple three casts. Might have to get the, the rage bug back out. I'll get her okay. Out. okay. Say it again, Such. 
Hey, Z, we're getting a lot of comments. People are having issues finding Lake Mender Chuck on the map. Just keep looking. <laughs> Just keep looking. It's right next to to uh, yep. Mander Chuck. Just keep Mander looking. Mander Chuck, Mander Chuck, Mander Chuck. right next to each Just other. Keep looking. The t kind of twin lakes, maybe. Yeah. Here's what I can tell you. There's a lot of people fishing this lake can look at the bank and they'll know what lake it is. Yeah. That that but <laughs> we're, we're it's it's sneaky lake. It's not fair to put that sneaky much pressure on. We're one not going to put that much pressure on this lake. But. Uh, but here's the other side of it. Here's what I can tell you for anybody at home. There's 30 lakes within Just 30 minutes. Just look at all the little lakes within 30 miles of Kalamazoo. 15 of them right now are on fire. Because here's one thing that I said coming into this. What I learned is I've got five lakes between Kalamazoo and Sturgis. Okay? I got five lakes that are on fire. They didn't have good cell service. This one had good cell service. The lake we taped on yesterday had good cell service. Look at that, Wes. Magic. Magic. What a first hour of live. You just regroup. I, I, I'm I gotta sneak, regroup. I, I've, I've kind of went out a little okay. bit. I'm gonna sneak us back where the juice is at. Let me show you something real quick. A lot of people look at these, look at these right here, and they just think of them for Texas rigging. They think of them for tre Texas rigging, mm -mm. those little rage bugs, or you put it on the back of a jig or stuff like that. It is equally as potent just on a jig head, just on a little ball head. And all I do is kind of paint up the tips of them orange. Oh gosh, I just missed one, dude. Uh -uh. So, so, as soon as I get in the juice. Was it really? Yep. He thumped it. I got a little ahead of the game there. Oh my gosh. I tried to go out, you know, a little yeah, further yeah, yeah. and they weren't there. So I was trying to wait for you to be re. Are we right on the. Right, just. It's like my boat okay. was sitting right there. And it's shallow okay. right there, so it's like okay. right at the yellow tree. I got you. Big it. Pretty much right there. <laughs> That's the case. Oh my gosh. Good one. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Five, five pounder. All day. Whoa. Old fatty. Settle down. But look how perfect this bass is built. Look how perfect that thing's built. That one's pretty right there. Just perfect. Oh my gosh, Kevin, thank you for driving home for this. <laughs> I texted him on, what was it, two nights ago? I gave them, I've only done this one other time. We take, look how fat that fish <laughs> That's is. Five plus. Dang, dude, we gotta be 25 right now. We gotta have 25 pounds right now in the first 40 minutes. I've only done this one other time that we taped the show on Lake Huron years ago. And he texted me, find him, and I was struggling to find him. We were up north. Where are you at, dog? We were up north. I had the flu real bad. And he was on the road, and we were getting ready to tape a Zona show. And I seriously, I found the biggest school of smallmouth I had ever found in my life. And you sent me like a two word text. We're good. <laughs> That's exactly what I put. Oh, there's the rock right there. And two nights ago. Oh. I got the same text. Oh. Don't get me wrong, that little cowboy in the front of the boat right there with the red jacket, Vandy, cameraman Vandy. Vandy, Vandy works with the Zona Show a lot, and he helps with a lot of searching. But we looked, Josh, we looked 
literally looked for days to find the right cell service. I mean, it's just a little chub. How many are there? <clears throat> That's the spot, dude. Right where that rock is at. <laughs> Wes, give it up, Wes. Do it. Thank you. <laughs> Ta-da! Bam! I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't want this good, sound dude. the wrong way. I'll never move from this state. I will never move from here. Well, nobody's fishing, you know, this time of year. No, but well, now when we were on the other day, there was like four boats. Yeah. I can't get a bite in there on this jig now. That one was. You want a mender chuck? I got one. I'm thinking about the old jerk and twitch over. They got to be uh, a you couple. Keep, they keep that steel down. We don't need trouble hooks flying. Wes even said it. <laughs> I'm pretty partial to the old rage bug myself. I'm serious. I'm, I'm blacking out. I blacked out yesterday on two smallmouth. Everything got blurry. I'm wrapped up in everything. Oh. Huh. Straight up hog snatching. Hog snatching. Oh, mm -hmm. the storm's coming. Here, go ahead, bud. I got to do a little rigging. You need anything? Oh, I got, I got what I need. Look at that poor thing. Look at that poor thing. That thing, that thing needs to go to the showers. <laughs> Wesley, let me show you what we got going here. You got one? Nope. Yeah. Well, can we do the social media power hour, Sooch? We or not. We certainly started. You let, it's going to rain Let her fly, shortly, bud. So. Well, we got the unofficial. You got 25 and 3 quarters pounds. KVDs at uh, 14 and 3 quarters. I, well, I mean, it happens sometimes. Let's start with Keith Wazuski. He's a novice angler fishing Michigan trails, and he's only got limited poles and, and, and tackle, and he wants to get your recommendation for the best uh, pole rigs he can set up for fishing around the Michigan trails. I'm going to give my two favorites. You ready? A seven-foot medium action spinning rod and a seven foot medium heavy bait cast rod. Two gotta haves. Two gotta haves. Good enough for KVD? How Kevin about, would say you better have six I got a cranking seven, rods. I got a seven four spinning rod, medium action, and I like a seven four, I just like a little longer rod, but. but All uh, right, Dave Herbeck, question for both of you. Do you feel that the Elite Series events are getting harder to win than the Classic? More guys, more days. They're asking if elite, an Elite Series event is harder to win than a Classic. Uh, probably, but there's just, there's a whole lot more of them. That's the problem is there's only one Classic. Oh, uh, I think the Classic. I look, so at how, more how, I look at how wound tight these guys are at the Classic. And, Man, yeah. so to me, more. that's still the most brutal for those guys to mentally, mentally to go through. I, th I don't think there's as much mental stress on the guys in an elite series as no. I visually see them at the Classic. Okay, John Holtz is asking, both you and KVD, how much BASS has changed the interaction between fans and competitors, let's say, in the last decade or so. Do you think we're hitting a point where fans on the lake are starting to respect competition anglers more or not? <laughs> It that's a that's a geographical question. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, I'll let Kevin answer. Yeah, that. you know, for the most part, it's 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 better actually. They're they understand what we're out there trying to do, and uh, they they you know most places they pretty much let us let us do it. But it, I, I will say, every angler I talked to from the Houston Classic said those were some of the best spectators ever. Yeah, except no, no for question. that scrubby McScrubberson fella. <laughs> Curtis Werner, who is the better boat driver? 
Not you guys Tommy, ever race? Not, not Tommy Biffle. No, oh. between you two. Oh, oh I am. Yeah, because he's he's not fishing in competition. He just eases around. What is that right? about? He eases around. He's never in a hurry. What I do more is, and I hate to reference my buddy Hackney again, I slink around. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're not even to these fish here. Josh Munger wants to know if you guys know anything about uh, setting up for kayak fishing. Uh, who was that, Josh? Josh Munger. Yeah. I don't, Such. <laughs> I don't. I'm well, at. get Fastmaster Magazine Kevin and uh, Dave Mike. Mull will cook Ke you up yeah, there. Yeah, Dave, yeah, Dave Mull. He's a good guy. That's good. Such, are these questions you picked? Travis Mag. No, I have uh, helpers who have picked these. They see Dude, a lot of your shows up north using an umbrella away. rig. For an see? angler that fishes southern Michigan like this, who has never thrown it, a what's what? a proper real... Rod line set up for a, for a who's that from? Rig. Who's that from? Travis M A A G. And he wants to know how to properly rig a umbrella rig or the setup rods and reels. Here's the thing: a light, any kind of light to medium action flipping stick, but make sure you've got a beefy reel. Okay. The other side of it is. You don't want to go into it with a little medium-sized reel. You want a beefy reel. Big this is a little tip right here. You ready? Use 20-pound fluorocarbon and not braid in Michigan on your umbrella rigs. You just get more bites. It's one thing I've always said on the Zona show. You get more bites. You get more bites with fluorocarbon. Kent Lichty to Kevin. Do you ever ask Mark to maybe not tell behind the scenes stories of, <laughs> about you? I don't tell any. I, I got better stories of him than he does of me. We'll just leave it at that. He does. Is that true? <laughs> it, it is true. Kevin, Tom Hens is asking. Don't get me wrong. Hey, you tell, who is that? Old man Lichty's kid? Kent Lichty. You yeah. tell Kent Lichty. I got a few on him though. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, Tom Hens, Kevin. I've kept a lot of them in the vault, though. Suits, Several you know kids what with I mean? autism in their church. What's the best thing to do to be a positive influence to them? April's Autism Awareness Month. Yeah, I got Dave Mercer, Dave, Dave Mercer's Mercer. daughter. Yeah, Cadence, Cadence. love her. <laughs> yep. So look here, I got it. I got the I got the wristband right here. See, look here. I'll show it. This is for That's my buddy awesome. Dave and really anybody who's got the autistic kids. Kevin. So we you want to give him a winner on that question? Yeah, we can. Who do was that? that? Tom Hens. Tom Hens, you are getting a TH Marine Kong mount and a $100 power pole certificate. Tom Hens. Yes. Absolutely. And I, so all this month, too, okay? I mean, I pledged $2 a pound for everything I catch. I'm, I'm counting this as, a, as an event. So what we catch today, two bucks a pound for today. Then you tie. You're to both at over 25. Huh? I'll match then you're it. both up yeah, over 25. Yeah, this is a team derby. <laughs> all right. Patrick it's for Corns. the kids. Zona. Yeah. If you had to choose between the Bears winning the Super Bowl oh, oh, or Kevin oh. winning another classic, that's which a would no you brainer. choose? Are you I can answer me, that. Bro? that. I've I seen one it. Super Bowl in my life. I've seen four classic victories. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, give me one more SB. But the thing is, you see, Mike Glennon's our quarterback yeah. of the Bears now. So you, you oh, gotta, come on, seriously. Who? Mike Glennon. Who? Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be dead honest with you. I'm, I'm being dead serious. I, uh, I, I've covered three of the three of the four you've won of the classics. I, it would be a dream to cover the fifth one. A dream. Bassmaster Live. Davey. Move on, Kevin. Tommy. Such. Ron. I'm going I back mean, to these the fish are pre-spawn, Such. I'm going back to the juice. You ready, Kevin? We're not yep. Huh? Yeah, go. Got one for Kevin. What knot do you tie on for crankbaits and jerkbaits? Palomar. Just a straight Palomar. Fast, All right. easy, Zombie efficient. apocalypse hits. You have to choose a fishing rod to defend yourself. Which rod, line type, and lure would you use? I, I want to hear what this guy thinks you're going to take zombies like this. What is the deal on this? I don't know what that one was. That's more questions from Such. I liked it, though. Uh, the lightsaber I would ch uh, choose, uh, I'll take my, my eight-foot flipping Light, stick. Lightsaber. 
Yeah, go. Like I'll take my eight, my eight foot flipping well, stick. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I got a new nine foot cranking rod. The bigger, the better when you're using it as a weapon. With a 10 XD, I will hurt you. <laughs> I think got I'm one on Instagram yeah, for Matt Fritzler. Yeah, hang on, let me just. See so what happens There's after a they lot get of tired ADD. of that jig there. There's a lot of ADD in all these boats. Look here. I'm just... I can't get my... Don't be... Let me sneak out of there without a jerk and twitch down that. Dude, what just, an incredible hour. Go, Sooch. Okay. You ready? Okay. What are your on. favorite Look ADD? at Sooch throwing love to the Ike Live. Yes! <laughs> Look at you. Sooch, I'm stealing that hat by the end of the day. Well, I'm gonna get a, a Zona Live hat. Well, that sounds well, like a good it. idea. If there was, was one. I was angling for an, a, a hat. Our budget isn't quite there. I'll talk to the friends at Bass. Maybe we can get some made. <laughs> KVD, Zona, what are your favorite KVD jerkbait colors for these clear, natural Michigan lakes? Whatever he's got tied on. Uh, my favorite is, my favorite's IU. IU and Crystal Shad. I throw strobe shad a lot for smallmouth. It's got the chartreuse belly. Yeah, that's a dang good one too. Thanks, bro. Paul Olson asks, while well, being versatile, did KVD just decide that the jerkbait would be his main go-to lure, or did he discover that through trial and error over the years? Can I answer that? Yeah. Yeah. It's hyperness. I talked to his father, Dick Van Dam, about this. I'm being dead serious. And this was many years ago. But his dad said, you know, we used to think Kevin like had a problem with hyperactivity because he would basically just go out all day long throwing spinner baits, crank baits, jerk baits. It's obviously something that is in his genetics since he was a kid. Really. His dad said he would never slow down. I can't sit still. Well then Kevin Hayden Williams asked oh, you the the day. what do you think the secret to tournament bass fishing is? And, and don't give us a simple one. Yeah, finding and catching big bass. <laughs> That's the simple. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> exactly what they wanted. No, is there another thing that's no I mean, secret, man? There's it's a bunch of hard work. It's a, and it, there's a lot of science that's far from exact, man. You have seasonal patterns, and one of the best things to do is to go with Zona to when he's pre-scouted him and says, ah, there's a little bit of rock here and there might be on this turn. Well, I appreciate and, that, Kevin. And, I do put and in my homework. He 25 pounds off the first You know, spot. my biggest thing is, what I do is I shake them off in practice. There's my, there's my, I shake them off, you know. We gotta. We gotta start easing them. Yeah, down. they. We burned them. We've hurt their feelings here. Thought I was getting we've one from Walter fishing. Matthau, but it's Matthew Walter, pretty okay. close. <laughs> Walter he's Matthau. a high school bass angler and he only has a depth finder and a GPS on his boat and he can't pre-fish, his parents okay. have to work. How should he approach his tournaments? And then he has one more other, other question of what five lures. Well, that was a very large question, Such. It, it is. Let's go with the first one. How should he approach tournaments? Here's what I can tell you. Gotta okay? watch the weather first and foremost, man. It, 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 all I've done, and this is no joke, I, I, I'm dead serious, I'm being dead serious. Whenever we tape a Zona show or a Zona live, all I do, for the week before, is stare at the weather. When I went to bed last night, I stared at the weather. When I woke up, I stared at the weather. Fish the weather. Don't, f here's what I can tell you is, don't fish what you found last week. No, nope. fish the weather. Towards the, you gotta think towards the future. Ready? Yes, sir. Tom Wilflong, do you ever use an underwater camera to, to look at your area? I use side Either imaging. Either the tournament or for fun. I use side imaging. That's all I use. Mega imaging is unbelievable 100%. how detailed it is now. It's, it's, it's almost the same thing. <laughs> he, he always wondered if Bass Pros ever used underwater cameras. You've seen them on, you know, you can put them on line and throw them down there and look. The Humminbird I, Mega Imaging is like a camera that you can use in any color water that you can, I mean, it's like, it's like polarized sunglasses in a clear lake. Why you keep going shallower, bro? I'm just uh, trying to get from Twitter uh, now. Okay. Remember hashtag Zone Alive. Okay. What is your favorite lake in Michigan for largemouth? <sighs> yeah, I, I like love. Menderchuk. Menderchuk <laughs> Lake. I like a lot. Um, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out just like the lake it. that I grew up on. Uh, Kevin comes and hangs out at 
where you guys are staying, I'll throw out a cleaner lake's my favorite lake. It's not big ones, but it's where I grew up. It's where I fish tournaments. See, I love Muskegon Lake. You're right. Muskegon and the Grand River, that's where I grew up fishing tournaments on this side of the state, on the west side, and it's pretty darn. How old were you when you won here? 16. <laughs> hey, this is no joke. And it was with a jig. I was it really? a jig, heck yeah. Flipping the cabbage. I met Kevin, you wrote it in your daily limit. I met Kevin on a lake 25 miles from here. I was like 17 or 18, and it was a Tuesday night tournament, and he was like 20, what, 22, 23? Yeah. And man. they were like, dude, that guy right there is like the man in the Bassmasters. Well, when you met, you met, I mean, what was that encounter like? You just said, hi, hi, I'm Well, he hard. had a mullet back then. I did, too. I, and I had a mullet and I had a mustache. I didn't have a goatee. But here's what I can tell you is, um, all of us that were younger than him, I'm considerably younger, Kevin's 50 now, is... Hey, is, is, I am is, not. All of us that were younger, I mean, seriously, <laughs> were, he was our mentor. He was Neil's mentor. You know, he was all of this whole area. If you were, it didn't, you could have been older. He was... So when you met him, you kind of stammered, stammered, hi, hi, uh, no, no, like everybody else. that, Suge, but I mean. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, here well, it is. Everybody wanted to go out on the Bassmasters then. And, yeah. and I had just started only, just before those guys. The only though. two that did the Bassmaster before Kevin from Michigan, really, that, you know, were Art Ferguson and Kim Stricker. Yeah, and, okay. And then, dude, careful with that steel. Just careful. <laughs> I'm just saying. I want to get to this one. Matthew Hammond, would KVD beat you in a stare-off, Z? Say that again? Would KVD beat you in a stare-off? We'll see by the Go end of the day. Okay. We'll see by the end of the day. He's going to get okay. that jig back in my hand before it's over, I'll guarantee you. Storm's coming in, guys. What a first hour. Hey, I'm dead serious. Am I on your camera right now? I'm dead serious. We're going to have some weather. So we might have to take a little longer pauses when this rain, if it gets really bad. If it stays like this, we're fine. Uh, but we're getting near the juice. That first spot was just, I'm not going to lie, that first spot's going to be hard to top. Yeah. <laughs> when you Forever. Catch, when you catch 25 pounds off of uh... I want to ask this one. Who's... Last question. Last question. Last question. Who's considered the best dressed pro in the elites? Among the elites. Ooh. Best dressed pro. Oh. Biggin? No. Pickerel. Oh, the old pickerel. Best dressed. I gotta tell you, this sucker is gonna get eight if he hangs around that school. Best dressed on the elites. Oh, wow, that's a toughie. It's got to be Cliff Crochet. I'd, I'd <laughs> put. I'll be honest with you. When he won Angler of the Year, I think Aaron was one of the best dressed I have ever seen. I really do. Was he, that, that was the one time that he wasn't barefoot? <laughs> We're going to break. <laughs> so it's good ones, come up with others. We're working on it. Thank you. What a first hour, man. Are you kidding me? Hours today. Biggin, biggin, biggin. History of my life. Is it? Again, I'll help you. I'll help you. Here we go. Settle down. So look how perfect this bass is built. Look how perfect that thing built. Just perfect. Zona Live is brought to you by Graham. Shimano. Mercury. Bass Pro Shops. 
Fight Striking. Some days, the biggest rush of all is feeling really, really small. Shops. It's more than a store. It's great service from folks who know what they're talking about. It's a low price guarantee. And free events that are fun for the whole family. It's great brands from Coleman and North Face to Redhead and Ascent. Bass Pro Shops, where great service, great prices, and the great outdoors all meet up. There's never been a better time to come to Bass Pro Shops than right now. Every time we go fishing, you know we gotta tie one on. In all honesty, when do I not tie one on? <laughs> Every time I go on the water, I love to tie one on. Every day of the week, I like to tie one on. You may not know this about me, but every once in a while, I've been known to tie one on. Come on, man, join the Strike King team. All you gotta do, tie one on. <laughs> I think I always tie one on. My name is Hamilton Carhart. Since 1889, I've built gear for the harshest conditions. From the trenches of World War I to the skylines of America and every rugged corner in between. Introducing Carhart Force Extremes, powered by 37.5, built to tackle any condition. So you're never hot, never cold, never done. Taming the beast isn't easy, but the bigger your electronics, the more you have on the line. In conditions like this, you need the KVD Kong Extreme Electronics Mount. The only electronics mount designed and built to be rock solid. No movement, no matter how heavy your gear. A marine grade mount for fresh or salt water that's monstrously strong. The KVD Kong Extreme Electronics Mount. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time. Because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. Introducing the new Motor Guide X5. The X5 was built with the most hardcore angler in mind. Designed for durability and quiet performance under the most extreme conditions. This one was punished like no other. Patented variable ratio steering will allow you to cut like a knife for the most brutal conditions. The new Motor Guide X5. The most extreme technology for the most extreme fishing. Dedicated, passionate anglers at G. Loomis, we bring you E6X. We know fishing and know how to make high performance rods. Each E6X blank features multi taper technology and action matched high grade cork handles, providing perfect balance and sensitivity. 
E6X belongs in your hand. Feel connected. For more information, visit gloomis.com. There's nothing better than a day on the nice water. Fish, son. Let's go catch a bigger one, Dad. But once in a while, you've no. got issues. Not again. Time for someone to step up and save the day. Oh, wait. Someone oh. with 24-7 towing dispatch assistance. Quality service from Towboat US, the nation's largest fleet. Yes. Boat US membership makes boating safer you. and more affordable. Did it, Dad. They saved <laughs> perfect summer intact. Join today at BoatUS.com. You're watching Zona Live. Brought to you by Humminbird. You kick a dead horse till you're gonna kick it. The horse is so dead. Kevy, it's time to kick, kick it. it. Kick it! <laughs> I love getting Kevin slightly out of his world he lives in. And I do everything I can, every single thing I can, to, to, to try to, to, to crack the armor. Whether it's singing him a song, um, I do that to him off camera all day long. Haters want to hate, lovers want to love, Z Train don't want to do. None of the above, he wants to fish with you. Would you let him be himself so he could shine his whole life? Hell, a whole long time. Give it in, let him be himself. And, and, I, and I, I honestly know how much he loves it. He loves my singing. Kicking that dead horse, dead. <laughs> Sing it for me. Give it to me good. Uh, Throw one out one more. Get, dude, I mean, we're on Lion Lake and we're not catching him. You think I want to put myself down? Just sing it though. I mean, but I want it from the gut and I want it. Kicking that dead horse down. Let's kick it, man. We're kicking. <laughs> Boom. I'm the only person that could bring the number one angler down to that level. Yep. Kicking that dead horse down. Hey, Kevin, after that first hour, I know how much you love my singing, especially oh. when... Really? No. Cabbage when, clump. When we're pontooning together. Would you mind if I... Oh, look at here. Look Out here. Out the cabbage. Look here. Would you... Out <laughs> the cabbage. Would you mind if I graced you with the gift of song right now? <laughs> let's, let's hear it. Remember what your daddy told you <laughs> a long, long time ago. He said, KVD, let me tell you something. Don't never leave fish to find more fish. You're never leaving fish to find more fish. I've heard that. No? And it never gets old. I know. I know it doesn't. Kevin, if people are just joining us here on Zone Alive. If you did not see that first hour, you messed up. That was world class. Zone Alive presented by Humminbird Gang. Here's what I can tell you if you're just tuning into this. That was possibly one of the most I have taped for 12 years. That could have been the most incredible 55 minutes I've ever seen rolling with my buddy Wes Miller. I'm not kidding. That's straight up hog snatching right there. I, I, I little, we went to break, this is no joke. If, you, if you're just tuning into this, something happened here, something happened here the first hour that I, I've seen a lot of stuff in Michigan. I've seen a lot of, Kevin's, that first hour was incredible. That's insanity. Seriously. Seriously. Falcon Lake? Ha! I mean. We may not have 10 pounders, but man, that's. Let me show you something real quick, come here. See what we're doing? We're building, as we're going along, I've got my auto chart on where we're graphing this whole thing. And this is the shallow water that we're throwing up on. And it gets deep. And there's gonna be a point that's gonna come that we were just, yeah. you see that point right there? We auto charted that point. There's more stuff gonna happen when we make our way down to that. We're easing into it though. 
I wanted to idle down during the commercial break. Oh, that's a cold rain. Yeah. That is a cold rain. Okay. Let's just kind of, you know, I, I, here's what I can tell you. You could literally re-rack from 802. Kevin caught two. I lost one. I caught a sweet stick that I fought <laughs> to the boat. And then we went down about, sorry about that, bud. Here, go ahead. We you. went down about 70 yards. And the fish lords yes. started the gates. shining. Yeah, it is. I mean, shining. <laughs> and we're not even close to done. But I like the one-two punch. How about like Jackson and Nicholas? Are you guys, you better today. be studying, boys. I'm locked up, big. Uh-oh. No, I'm not. Cabbage. Cabbage. Sitting up there in the dorm where it's nice and warm. You got class in a little bit. Don't skip class. It's going to be good, but we'll get you a copy. <laughs> Ooh, it's, look at him. Hey, real quick, I got to tell a story. I got to tell a story on here. Is it? We, I'll uh, help you. I'll help you. Careful over there, EK. Kevin, pull, pull out just a hair. Yeah. The, uh, so what I was saying this morning is really what I've learned about doing this live thing is, is, is it's more stressful than shooting a regular Zona show for the simple fact that number one, you're live and that's a little bit scary in itself. But number two, you only one have of the, four hours. One of the, <laughs> a lot can come out of your mouth in four hours. Um, the other side of it is what I really learned um, I guess more so this week than anything was a lot of the lakes that I found that were really, 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 really good fishing. I was telling Davey Height this. He said, man, have you found a couple good lakes to do it on? I said, you know, I found some really good lakes, but they got horrible cell service. And I said, then I found some lakes with really, really good cell service that the lakes sucked. And, and he said, man, maybe that's a population thing, which was interesting to hear that. But this is a true story. Um, last Sunday, when Toledo Bend, it was, would have been the final day at Toledo Bend when Murray won. Um, Pretty special day, by the way. Very special day. One of the best dudes on planet Earth, like ever. Um, um, my kids and I went, we were scouting lakes, getting ready, and, and my kids and I are taping tomorrow and Saturday. And we found a lake just like this like it's happening Ke kevin has been to that lake it's pretty special <laughs> it is it is happening and my boys saw me pull my phone out to do a to do a cell test when it, whenever we would start catching them i start checking cell service and one of my twins looked at me and he's like we were getting a lot of bites, big ones. And one of my kids said, oh, please don't bring Uncle Kevin here. They didn't Kevin want to take here. me here. Please don't bring Uncle Kevin here to do live before we shoot a <laughs> show on Friday. Luckily, luckily there was zero cell service. All worked out. Yeah. I do. I'm going to cut it. Yeah, sure I will, Wes. Sure I will. Again, for everybody at home, we're going to be doing social media. Oh, just pulled right out. Social media power hour again. We've got two big prizes left. One of them, the next prize we're giving away, or it could be Kevin. If Kevin hears the right question, he could give away the grand prize. That Helix 10 Mega Imaging, baddest unit on he the planet. He can literally call the winner whenever he wants. It's your show, dude. I'll let you call it. No, 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 no. This is your show, cowboy. Oh, you going shallow? I'm going to go shallow, Jerry. Okay, okay. Just, to, just to see. With all this clouds and stuff, you know. Got him. Well, biggin', biggin', biggin'. Maybe I should stay out on the break. <laughs> nope, pike. You got smaller. Is it a pike? I no, think it's it a bass, a... isn't it? 
thought it was. It looked long and skinny. Oh, oh no, no. Oh, it's, no. A, it's a bass. Oh yeah, see, I see the. That's a pretty good one. Oh my gosh. Look at it. We're getting near that point right there. We're getting near it. Yesterday, when we taped, when we taped yesterday, this is really interesting. We caught, we, uh, we caught a mixed bag yesterday. Really nice one, small mouth and large mouth. And I was. You can take it. To, um, no, it's cool, there. dude. It's cool. I was fighting one yesterday. And this time of year, this time of year in Michigan, especially small bluegill, small bluegill. Got him. Yeah, I'm gonna put that jerk bait down. Oh, I'm gonna drop a waypoint. I don't know how big this one is. I got something going here. Biggin? I don't know, man. I don't know if it's a bass. Yeah, mine is. Oh, big old chunker. Oh, <laughs> I want to get rid of this one real quick. Look at there's a good one. <laughs> so check it out. Yesterday. Look at that. Yesterday. The uh so we were catching a mixed bag. Hey Uncle Kevin, would you mind holding this on this waypoint for a couple minutes? What do you want to do? I don't care. You want me to kinda of hang out? Sorry about the weather, gang, but thank you for uh hanging with us through this. We're kind of got challenges with the weather. Um, this time of year, one of the things that I always talk about, and Kevin, Kevin's done a million articles with Louis Stout on this, is the dynamic of, of small bluegill and small perch. And, and I always talk about this in, in a lot of my seminars, I, I always talk about this in a lot of my seminars, is the number one thing. You know, somebody asked about tournaments and stuff, fishing up here, but I don't care. I don't care where you're at on planet Earth. Oh. Get him. Biggin? I would say it's a good one. Nope, oh not God. a giant. The, the first thing that I look for, the first thing I look for on all these lakes is where the pan fishermen are at. So where pretty, are the bluegill fishermen? That's a where pretty are the good one. That's a big, you want me to get them? Yeah. I'll get them. So, look at the fatty on that. That looks like a clear lake bass right there. There's one for Skeet Reese. Oh, oh look out. Just rod in the lake. Just dropping Shimano's like bombs. Oh my God. That's a pretty good one. That's a good one. Yeah, it's it's a not a five, one. but it's a dang sure four plus. God, look at how pretty that fish is. The belly. What a day. Oh what my a day. Gosh. Here, Kevin. What a mess. That is some straight up hog snatching. Here, bud. <laughs> I'm gonna let him go. Yeah. Go ahead. God. Oh my gosh. I mean, what is happening look here today? Wes gets all the love back there. Let me bring it over here. Way to go, oh, buddy Eric. I and mean, that's a chub right there. Okay. Hey Zona, can I go back to the waypoint? Please do. <laughs> I know I know we're we're hurting you with the wind right now. That wind's coming out of the east. Gang, I'm not lying. St. I'm not Claire lying. would have been St. So Clair would have been would have beat us to a frenzy. No. Um, so what I was saying was, is one of the major things, and I'm, I'm dead serious about this. What we all have a tendency to do when we're on a lake is you kind of snoop around, you look around, and you look where bass boats are at. And I always tell my kids, bluegill, bluegill, bluegill. Right. Don't look at other bass fishermen. 99% chance they're looking at you too. Just hunt where the pan fishermen are at. Like the lake that we're going to tomorrow. 
we're there's like five there's gonna oh. be God. oh my gosh oh my gosh what is happening today you got him you want i to got him? him the old jerk and twitch right Ooh. yeah you're right you see got the, you got see it, got, the, it, got, it, got, got it, it got it got it got it got it we ain't even to the point. When we eased on down that off the break right here, and I started seeing those pods of the bluegill, and we've been worked down this, you know, just kind of easing down. I mean, they're solid. Hang on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. Give those me. are out up on top of the flat, too. Hey, Uncle Kevin. I just want to see if one would lick a structure jig real quick. I'd throw the swimmer out there, the way they're coming up and eating the jerk. Yeah, I bet you get a bite there. Oh. You're kidding me. Baby. Wow. This has been like the most incredible hour and 20 minutes. I, I'm, I can't believe he's there. He'd get eight. And, and, and one of the things that we'll do, we'll do it in, a, in the third hour. I just wanna show, I wanna show on the helix, I wanna show what that cabbage wall looks like that these fish are holding on just so before the end of the day we show you exactly kind of what we were what we're hunting and it's not what I'm hunting on this lake it's what I'm hunting on every one of these lakes I fished for the last two weeks yeah whether it's milfoil or cabbage and that mega imaging shows it to a T no milfoil no spawny <laughs> Got him. Biggin? Yeah. Way up there. Way up there, Kevin. Oh my gosh. No milfoil, no spawny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that, is that just for Ike Live? Oh gosh. Oh boy. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, great Look at the size baby. of that bass. Look at the size of that bass. Ta da! <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Should I help you? What? Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what to do, man. That oh thing's huge. God. It's enormous. Oh, one's got my jig. Oh my gosh, oh my Kevin. God. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's that huge. is a monster. That is huge. It's huge. It's huge. That's a that, that's a Darva conger swanch. That is. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You've got to be kidding me! I will mess this up, dude. Just grab him by the belly. Wow. King Kong showed up wow. right there, dude. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> We're working on the 30 pound bag today. Wow. Huh? Look at that. Here. Uh, Hang on. Let me take, I'll take my hood off. We got to get us a, that's a social media. Look at that. <laughs> that's awesome. That is. Oh my gosh. gosh. Damn, that's a. Let me see it real quick. Wow. That, that looks like a, a Gunnersville bass. That's a dang, feel the, tell me what that weighs. Six. That's a six, six eight. Six, I was gonna say six and three quarter. Here, six. let him go. That's so awesome. Wow. You were fighting me, my jig went donk, donk. I gotta go back to the waypoint. <laughs> Aaron would say, dude, you're on my you're on my waypoint. I practice there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> when that one bit is like, mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know what to say, man. 
I don't know what to say. We're not even to the point. That's, that's where the magic, that's where the gooey rich madness is at, is right there. But you see, let me show you one thing right here. Let me show you right here where we're at. All of these, you see these little turns in this mapping? All these little inventions. Every little corner. Every little corner. Every single little corner on here is where these fish are. Oh. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oops. I'm going to back up just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, here, let me show you real quick. As we're going down, as we're going down this break, it's not a straight, it's not a straight break as far, the drop off straight, but as far, oops, sorry about that, Kevin. As far as the cabbage goes, let me show you something. Every one of these waypoints, like right here, let me show you. You see that waypoint? It's on a corner. That waypoint, it's on a corner. And as I'm doing that, we were doing it the other day, I was doing that auto chart live here. And what was funny was after we dropped all those waypoints, every waypoint was on a corner of the mapping. Anywhere there's a bend and a corner. And what you'll have there is a turn in that cabbage. Where that cabbage turns, like the stuff that I'm fishing tomorrow on a lake about 20 miles from here, Everything that I'll be fishing is a turn in grass. Uh, very in subtle, though. I mean, it's 10 feet. It's a 10 feet cut in as well. Right, all. it's not they're, dramatic. They're very subtle. Hey, bud. Dude, that's a jackhammer. I don't know we got 30, but we got... We ain't far from we, it. We ain't far from 30. I can tell you that we're approaching the biggest bag that I've ever caught in the state of Michigan. Yeah. We will catch the biggest bag. By the end of the day. By the end of the day. Wow, 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 wow. You were fighting that fish and I put, lift up on my jig, my jig's going. Was he up, uh, was he on top? Uh, wait, I don't care. I've kissed Kevin more than once, bud. <laughs> and if you don't mind me saying, Kevin has given me a kiss. <laughs> It's right there. Okay. Based on where I'm at on the... Holy cow. I got a loop weight. I got too much line on my reel. I texted him, we good. Yeah, no, you did. Questions? Hashtag Zone Alive. Questions, we've got Suches, Bassmaster.com social media power hour. How long, Wes? Five in five in five. I don't know, like I don't know what we we can do. The look at the mess in this boat. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Neil, those are impressive. Very impressive. You know they're they're big in the fall, but they're they just they must continue to just eat all winter. But I'll tell you what's really strange. Because that, seriously, that's our What's fat. really strange? This lake and where we're going tomorrow and the next day to tape and that stuff. You don't see many small ones. This time of year. Isn't that weird? But in the summer you do. Yeah. Oh, how fun. Ooh. You're right in the... You're right on the air. Nice, nice, nice. Again, I'm going to say if you've just joined us here on Zone Alive, it's been over 90 minutes of complete insanity today. Oh, and I was so depressed that we weren't going to Lake St. Clair. <laughs> I was so depressed. Kevin knew I was. Ke Kevin I has, was. I haven't been over there this early. He's yeah. never been on St. Clair this early. And a bunch of my buddies are, oh, uh-uh. I'm talking about dead gum big in. No. No. Watch this, backwards cat. I'd throw right there, though. 
Um, for about the last for about the last ten years, um, and I've never hit it right for taping because we were going to tape regular Zona shows there this week. But there is a deal that goes on at St. Clair that I told Kevin. I said it's a phenomenon. Um, there, there's a cranking deal that happens there early. And God knows I love to crank right. some smallmouth. Um, and it was just, it wasn't right. It, the weather wasn't right, but I thought, you know, and I did. I had so much anxiety because I knew that we'd have, where we were going to catch them at St. Clair, I knew we were going to have really good cell service. And I, and I called some of my buddies up there. I said, man, how's the water color? And they're like, ooh, you're playing with fire, man. You're playing with fire, especially it's supposed to blow, blow out of the east. Bacon. And whenever... That jerk bait's awesome, but I'm gonna tell you, if you wanna catch the mega giants, that's the way to do it this time. That's a big one, gotta be. No, I no. Mean, Good one. Big one. Um, I'm starting to black out again at EK. <laughs> Um, and my buddies, my buddies that live up by St. Clair, they're like, uh, you know, you might knock their lights out. But the problem was, you know, I talked to Mike McKinnis, who runs Bassmaster Live, and Michael Middleton, who's running this show right now. And uh, they, I, I told both of them, I said, man, that wind's gonna, that wind's gonna blow from the east. And I think we're. I think we're, we're shot down on St. Clair. And both of them were like, are you sure, you know? And then I went through mass depression for the better side of like three or four days, just because I wanted, I wanted all, all you guys at home to see it that had never been there. Well, St. Clair is one of those lakes we go to on the tour, you know, on the Elite Series. We're going there later this year, and just to show them. It's so different. It, oh, God, hooked up. I mean, locked up, Jack. <laughs> Way out there on the flat. <laughs> it's like, locked up! <laughs> it's so awesome when you hit that, when you jerk that jerk bait and you hit it the next time. Oh, look at here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, full blown multi species event. Those right there. Oh, like the Gosh, dang, one. you put that in that Riceland grease right there for my buddy Scott Rook. I mean, <laughs> I mean, show sure enough good, you know what Gosh. I mean, that, That's some fine eating right there. Anyway, what, 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 oh, hey, what um, Kevin was, was talking about right there is, you know, a lot of the Elite Series events that we've covered there, whether it's when Faircloth won, you know, Chris Lane won, you know, it's a lot of kind of drop shoddy shoddy stuff, but, uh-oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good one. That's a big one. You think? <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, that gum jig bite right there, boy. Get up over here. Get up over here. Oh, sloppiness. Dang him, sloppiness. I gotta, I'm not gonna lie, though. I gotta give credit where credit's due. I gotta give credit where credit's due. Hackney put me on that jig color skirt, that peanut butter and jelly structure jig. He caught him. He mauled him, that color jig right there. He mauled him at Cayuga, and he's like, when you got those clear water lakes that you fish up north, when you got those clear water lakes that have a dark bottom, this water is actually really, really, what really clear. What trailer you got on that, too? See, that in this cold water, you, a lot of times it's best to have something with, without that, with that subtle action like that. Like just I don't have chunk. a Rage Craw on there. I got a KVD chunk on there, just, and it doesn't have as much action. Just a shimmy to it. You know, and even like where I caught those really big ones right there, West, uh, on that Rage Bug, that Rage Bug doesn't have, it doesn't have, it doesn't throw a lot of water. Um, but what I was saying about St. Clair was it, it, it what, What's good, what goes on up there, and there are a lot of, lot of y'all that are watching this have been up there in April, and the April kind of deal. Um, those fish get so tremendous, like they get so shallow. Like five, 
to seven foot of water. Oh my gosh. I want to cast that jig. You're making me want to put that jig in my hand. I blacked out again. And notice, he did not give me a PB and J. He I, gave me a blue crop. I, I, I did, too. <laughs> I did, too. You're a little more to the yeah. You're right in the ju you're right in the jig juice right there. Been a fun morning, Uncle KVD. My kids better be doing doing their SATs and not watching this. Boys, you got 20 minutes till class. Do not skip class. That's right. Stay in school. It's and it's Thursday <laughs> night in college. Make sure you go to bed early. Yeah. Thursday night's not a big going out night. <laughs> they got the oh, SATs today. Uh, uh, they got SATs today, but I tried to pull best dad of the year. I'm gonna I'm gonna let them slip out tomorrow and you know, pull on a couple of you know. Well, they're done. They're done. Spring break. Spring. They actually celebrated spring break. The kids went to the classic. Yeah, they didn't have any fun, did they? All right. Hunter and Jacob and Jackson and Nicholas in the outdoor show. Oh my goodness. Well, what was weird was they they had the pick if they wanted to go to to spring break at the classic or to Brian Robinson's charity event. Now my boys are big fantasy football players and have won a couple championships with your auction winner that bought your auction trip, Adrian Peterson. And uh, well. It was a it was all for charity, but the weather was just it was horrible. It was horrible. It was horrible. Okay, I'm gonna throw over here to the left, and I'm gonna jerk my old jerk and twitch there the jig, in the jig zone. Seriously, dude. Like I'm, I know I'm gonna get pierced. I'm, I know I'm gonna get pierced. I could hear the wind of that jerk bait going by my ear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, don't, don't worry. I won't hit you. <laughs> yeah. Until three trebles, until <laughs> three trebles go up the side of my head. <laughs> Our buddy Underdog, I got him yeah. a few years back. <laughs> I've had some rough go of it with trebles in recent, you know, the Toledo Bend last year, geez, last week even, I got one. <laughs> you stuck your head. When uh -oh. When you, <laughs> I thought you were. <laughs> when you stuck your hand in Toledo Bend, you go, "All right, I got a problem. I got a big problem." <laughs> it was. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not gonna lie. That makes for delicious Bassmaster life. <laughs> that had to be a pretty highly watched uh, video piece throughout the season. A highlight. I'm gonna ease around right here. But it's only 9:40. Can I, I ask you, moving. gang? I'm being dead can serious. I if I can ask you, it, it we're, we're not even to a lot of the. the we got a, some more spots. Come, just hang with us today. Well, we still got grand prizes. I mean, I'm gonna give away like just Bass Mafia, one of everything. Did you hear that? One of everything. It's like. Yeah, five minutes till social media power hour. Suge, are you high and tight? Fire it up. Fire oh, it up, you betcha. Oh, there it is. The jerk and twitch is in the zone. Fire him up, you know it. Mm. Hashtag zone alive. Hashtag a bunch. Zone alive. Hashtag hammer time. Slaunch smashing. Oh, it's Vandy. Keep it tight company. Well, I'll tell you here. what I'd like to do. Just I'd like sure to replay. I'd like to replay without any voice. So I'd like to replay some of them flurries here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Boy. I mean, locked up. I think I'm gonna e keep easing on. And I'll tell you, it's been like a run and shoot. You know what I mean? Like jerk bait, jig. Like we've been a team. Like. You know, like Starsky and Hutch. We're, not, we're, we're an hour and 40 minutes in right now, and we got to get the all-time stringer for Michigan. I'm up for it. I'm up for it. Biggest stringer I've ever caught in Michigan was 20... Nine. 
and oh. get him. I'm talking about Dad Gum Show Not Locked Up, Jack. <laughs> Is it a big one? I don't know. Nope. No? No? <laughs> I'm telling you in about, and we'll do it after this next commercial break, here in about 70 yards. Uh-huh. God, those hooks are something. Look at here. My, my finger. Oh. <laughs> I thought you hooked yourself. I did hook myself. <laughs> Punched it right through. Suit, you got some good questions lined up, dog? They're rolling in. Okay. You know it. You ready? We ready? You know what, Suit? We ready for it? Go ahead, rock and fire, old friend. Some From Twitter. Josh Van Heesh. If you only could throw one style of lure, what would it be? I, I know what your answer is. I, uh, he, I'm going to answer his, and he can answer mine. There you go. He is going to throw a jig, a jig, and a jig. I throw. I, this is no joke. This is. Hey, let me, I'm not being dead serious. Kevin actually knows this. If you ever, when the wheels come off in a regular Zona show, Wes, you know this. We start throwing jigs. One show, one year, I had like five jig shows. <laughs> Anyway, it would be a structured jig, what I'm throwing. Kevin, what yours would be what you're throwing. Dr. Krankenstein. No, I'd be a yeah. crankbait. Really? You, so, yeah, because you can cover every zone and it's efficient. Yeah. I love every, I mean, I love a jerk bait. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> when the water's clear. Jig and a crankbait. Okay. Adam Stuckey asks, if you could catch one world record bass, which would it be? Largemouth, smallmouth, or spot? Oh, that's and easy. Why? Who is well, yeah. that? Adam Stuckey. Adam Stuckey? I like Adam. Oh, mine be smallmouth, man. No, I'd want to catch a largemouth. No way, heck, man. Yeah. World record. Largemouth get all sloppy, you know what I mean? Yeah, but <laughs> 22-4 like is the world record largemouth. I want to catch, I want to catch a 22-12. Yeah, I'd like to catch a 12-pound smallmouth, hands down. And I'd like to catch it on a jig or I'd like to catch a 12-pound smallmouth, a 12-pound largemouth, and a 12-pound spot all in the same day. Yeah, on, a, on one cast on an umbrella rig. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Laura Schultz, do you work your jerk bait differently depending on water temperature? I do. I'm working it faster right now than I normally would, but it, we, they got a day where they're real aggressive with this cloud cover. Um, and it's, you know, the water's 49 degrees, so... Uh, the colder the water, the slower, and the longer the pause in the in the twitches. The warmer the water, the faster I go. Yep. All right, Kevin. Well, Bradley Crum wants to know what's the craziest what was thing the name that's again? ever. Bradley Crum. Brad Crum. Yeah. Brad Crum. Brad. Brad Crum. That's what it says. Bradley Crum. <laughs> Bradley Crum. I'm giving him the name of the day of the week. <laughs> well, that's you need to do that. What's well, the craziest well, well, thing? Well, well, no breadcrumb. Breadcrumb. <laughs> it's never That's happened to you while you're out on the week. road traveling. Brad, to I'm messing with you. Kevin. Don't get mad at me. Go ahead, Zooch. Sorry. Yep. Listen. Kevin, craziest thing ever happened to you out on the road? Craziest thing? Craziest. Oh, my God. Hang on. I thought he was locked. Pounded it. Pounded it. Don't. Well, I showed up to a tournament at Little Rock one time with... Two tires, two tires gone oh, yeah. riding the rims. That was pretty that I was, was pretty there. Oh, yeah. How far did you drive to, on those? I had to drive five miles with not a bit of rubber on the wheel. I remember that. <laughs> Can I give one? Yeah, sure. Can I give one? Yeah. Now, listen. This is a family show. Oh, what, locked up? Are you locked up, Jack? Yep. Bigger? Nope. Nope. Oh, oh, no. oh yes. <laughs> yes. Just, Just like the stick. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Katie's was larger. All right, you ready? This is a family show, so I have to watch where I'm going no, here. You got to go Please slim. Do. You got to go huh? back to the slim. Please Remember slim? Do. No, this is so much better. I was on the road. Got this in. Family show. I was on the road, and I got to my hotel. Flight got canceled. Got to my hotel, and the Bears game was on at nine o'clock. It was Monday night football. Okay or Thursday night, one of the blah, blah, blah. And I, I got to the front desk, I looked at the guy, I said, I, 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 just let me sign it, give me my key, kick off, kick off starting. I walked in the room and somebody must have been on their honeymoon. And I ran out of the room and I ran down the front desk and I said, ma'am, I'm not in that room. She said, no, you are in that room, that is your room. I said, ma'am, 
I'm not in that room. And she looked at me and she goes, oh, sorry. True story. Oh. Yeah. True story. Brian Scott wants to know how much pre-foot fishing should you do before a tournament? What's about the right amount? That's different for everybody. I, I, re I just rarely ever get to pre-fish. You know, for the regular elite events, we basically get two and a half days. And, you know, even on a big body of water, uh, most of the times that's more than, than I really need. But everybody's style is a little bit different. Mine's 30 to 40 days. Consistent. Daylight like Jacob dark. Wheeler, get there, huh? pre-fish two weeks before. <laughs> Mine's daylight to dark, 30 to 40 days. Yeah. All right, here's a good one from JM Revels. What is the one thing that people who fish could do to help out the bass population? Serious question. Oh, hang on. Good one. Say that again now. What what is the one thing people oh, big head people could do to, to help out the bass population? Just bass anglers. Let biggins go, man. That fish right there and bigger. Look, man, I have no problem. I have no problem that fish had a bluegill in its throat. I have no problem whatsoever with people harvesting bass. Just let biggins go. Like that fish and bigger, you don't want to eat that. That's my opinion. Well, they're, the fish we're catching here especially, man, they're, they're 12, 15 yeah. years or older, older. It's not a renewable resource, man. If you're gonna, if you're gonna keep some, keep that, those fish that are at the minimum size limit. They are gonna eat best anyways. Suit, you still with us, bro? Yeah, you ready? <laughs> Doug Oswald. KVD is, well, I guess, started off KVD. Best hockey player ever. Why? And why? Wayne Gretzky. Oh, come on. You get, I mean, you have to. I mean, Brian my Bickle, buddy, man. It's Brian my, Bickle, my buddy, my buddy Pat Verbeek, he played 20 yeah, years no, I, I, in the NHL, but no. Bickle's a man. And then he scored a goal on the did. Flat, you know, that was sweet. And he's a bass nut. Exactly. All right, co-anglers, what's the best tip you can give a co-angler? Oh Newberry gosh, fishing is after oh that. Oh my gosh. To be a better co-angler. I got a mess here. The biggest thing about... Uh, I got something on that. Oh I like gosh. that question. Did you don't fish with him anymore, Kevin, but... No, the biggest thing, um, you know, and I used to tell my co-anglers this all the time, is, you know, watch the guy in the front of the boat and see how efficient he is. You know, you do not want to go down the bank flipping a hack attack jig behind Greg Hackney if he's flipping bushes or stumps, you know? So you gotta, you gotta watch what they're doing and in a situation like that, you gotta fish a different zone or you gotta use a bait that's, that's gonna fish the water column a little bit differently. Like in a situation like this, you know, if I'm going down through here and I'm jerking them, catching them on a jerk bait, you, you wanna follow it up with a, a, a different, uh, you know, some kind there. of different presentation. It's not very big. Such, can I inflect on that? Interject right there? Well, you better. Uh, don't start, and, I, and I, I, you know, we've actually talked about this, Sanders, and when we've done uh, Bassmaster Live, is don't start grabbing lure, and then lure, and then lure, and then lure, and then, then it looks like at the end of the day, your entire tackle box is, when things start going wrong, or you're not catching them, Put your most confident bait on earth in your hand and live with what it. What you're confident Here's with. what I can tell you. If you look at guys that win Elite Series tournaments, Kevin. Always fishing like their that, strengths, man. They're their always strength. doing their fastball, their specialty. When things are not happening as a co-angler, put your most confident lure in your hand. Current events here, Logan Archibald wants to know, What's the weight of your biggest five fish in Michigan? <laughs> Mine was two, two no, my, no. Little, I don't know. My, my biggest five I've caught in Michigan were between 28 and 29 pounds. And I'm telling you, yeah, we've insane. got it scared right now. Yeah, you do. We've got it scared. I but those were here. smallmouth. Where I was that? They were smallmouth. That was at Lake Huron. Josh Schneider wants to know your before, top so. five favorite nicknames for a big bass. <laughs> I'll give uh, my two. I'll give my two. <laughs> you get what you want. I like Devil Slouch. 
and I like Darva Conger. Those are my two. Trench pandas are got to have. I like that. <laughs> you got to have the trench. Oh, there. Oh, God. That no. was a big one. That we was are a, getting up to some goodness right here. That was a brick wall when it hit. Really? All God, right, Chicago Heehaw. When you're getting on a lake like today you haven't seen in a while, what you, are the keys you're, you're looking fish. for in the structure? In structure. Kevin, go. Like today. On, 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 on these lakes this yeah. time of year. The biggest, the biggest thing is, is you want to find structure that fits the seasonal pattern. And, you know, right now you can see we're way off the bank. This is a big flat between here and the shore. And we're fishing the edges, you know, the outside edge, and it's, it's early pre-spawn, so they're gonna be on these, these vertical breaks outside of these large spawning flats. So, you know, in the, in the spawn, they're gonna be all up there on the, the shallow. So you wanna fish the areas on the map that fit the seasonal pattern um, for that time of the year more than anything else. That's, that's what I do every place I go on the Elite Series is look for areas that, that fit the seasonal pattern. That's, you know, that's why last week when we were at Toledo Bend, I wasn't out there way offshore deep cranking because it's not the right, it's, it's too early. Five weeks earlier than yeah. last year. Yeah, we're, we're just too early. Can I give something oh, from yeah. how we caught them yesterday? You ready? Do it. I'm being dead serious. Get behind your wheel and idle, and idle, and idle brake lines, okay? Look for little contour shifts. The, like yesterday, the lake we fished on is incredibly pressured. And when you find small irregularities along a break line this time of year, In where it makes a hoo -hoo, especially. Hoo -hoo, where it makes a little indention along a break, okay? Just get, as, as much as we all want to go out and start fishing, as much as we all want to go out and start casting and stuff like that, I live behind that steering wheel. I live behind that steering wheel, and I stare at my graph. Well, hey, BD. Yep. Bruce Strzok, what is your favorite lake in the country to fish? Ooh. One favorite lake. Lake and St. Clair. Lake St. Clair, hands down. Z, mm -hmm. you too. Lake C Mender Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Gurton, in his hay, could KVD have thrown a TD pass at Calvin Johnson? Wow. Anybody could have thrown a yeah, probably if you do a little, Johnson. little slant in and dude, let him go get it. I've stood right beside him. He's a monster. He oh, is yeah. a freak. A monster. I've seen you guys. Hey, you know what's real bizarre about Calvin Johnson real quick? Kevin Kevin got me passes to, to one of the practices. Is how much Calvin Johnson would make professional defensive backs look like children. Little guys. No, no like... When they would, when when starters would try to cover him during practice that were on the same team, they looked like kids. Hey, got a text from Dave Mercer <laughs> said he's matching you guys on autism awareness. That's my boy Dave right there. That's my guy. That's my guy. Ian Hill, could KVD explain how his equipment, techniques, posture, etc., allow him to jerk and crank so aggressively for such a long time? Well, I'm going to tell you, the, the biggest thing with a jerkbait is, is having the right equipment, and you, you want to physically Ooh, have ready. your body set in position so you're not uh, having to overwork yourself. So if you're pulling off straight to the side, it really works your arm a lot harder. I've, I tried to jerk down like this, so you know, out of a boat like this Z21, it sits off the water. You can't have too long a rod in the handle or in the tip. So. You know, I use like a 610 medium heavy action, so it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of backbone. When I snap it, it makes that bait jump, but that handle doesn't hit me in the chest here, so it physically makes it easy. Question from Mark Z from Sturgis: Given your age, how many good jerk baiting years do you have left in you? <laughs> <laughs> this elbow right here is, is having a rough time. <laughs> he's like a, he's like an old battle tested war horse. <laughs> Like, hey, dude, I want to say something. During the Classic, we were doing Classic Live, Mercer and Tommy and Davey, and we got out on him, and he was by the dam. He started down by the dam, and we covered him all three days, and he threw a jerk bait 99% of the time. If you think about that, think about that. That is brutal, man. Brutal. Justin Kimmel, could Zona compete on the Elite Series 
and win one of those big blue trophies? No. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm no. No, Wes. No, I know. KVD? No. Your opinion on that? No, I take second. I, I would tell you right now, he'd, he'd probably be... Uh, no. He'd probably be right up there. He's finished second forever in his... In, in his Triple A level career, you know. I looked up his career stats. He's had some good finishes. Yeah. I don't have uh, what it takes mentally. And then 161st. Oh my gosh! Hey, this last question. Last question. So close. <laughs> last question. Well, Mark right Zona here. from Thomas Hardway. Yes, sir. What was that dye you put on your rage bug? Next question, please. <laughs> 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 Next question, please. All right, Roberto Kennedy, what's the martial arts schedule for spring? Oh, oh, as far as my Bassmaster Live being in studio, I have, well, actually, what's your guys' next tournament? What's Ross next Burnett? Tournament? Is it uh, Rayburn or? No, we're at Jackson. 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 Ross Jackson? Barnett. Oh, yeah. Ross Barnett? Yeah. I have an extremely important African safari hunt I'm on that week. I drew a permit. <laughs> uh, so I'm not going to be there at the next one. Um, I, I, I don't think I'm going to be back actually till the smallmouth tournaments. I think when we get up to St. Lawrence, St. Clair. Imagine that. <laughs> I don't think I'll be back around Dude. for a little bit. But uh, um, I, I'm, I, I'm going to be taping Zona shows for the next two months. Or I think it's time we go to break and take a look what has happened this at the beatdown yeah at the beatdown got him biggin biggin yeah, it is. god that was pretty too look at that oh oh yeah let me break it down what we're doing here we got the old straight king kvd Bluegill color jerk. These bass are. It's an actual fish. Believe it or it's not. It's an actual fish. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Are you kidding me? That's a day. Oh. Six plus right there. Colors today. <laughs> Biggin. Biggin. <laughs> Biggin. <laughs> Yeah, the jig. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's all that. History of my life. Good one. Is it? Biggin. I'll help you. I'll help you. Here we go. <laughs> but look how perfect this bass is built. Look how perfect that thing's built. That one's pretty right there. Just perfect. Just grab him by the belly. Wow. King Kong showed up wow. right there, dude. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on the th Zona Live is brought to you by Carhartt, Procar, Motor Guy. And by Power Pole. Do you really think that's a good idea? If everyone jumped off a cliff, would you do it too? You'll lose interest. It's just a phase. It hurts me more than it hurts you. Where are your manners? Were you raised by wolves? You're gonna give me a heart attack. When you have kids, you will understand. This is the life of a rebel. Sorry, Mom.
Every time we go fishing, you know we got to tie one on. In all honesty, when do I not tie one on? <laughs> Every time I go on the water, I love to tie one on. Every day of the week, I like to tie one on. You may not know this about me, but every once in a while, I've been known to tie one on. Come on, man. Join the Stray King team. All you got to do, tie one on. <laughs> I think I always tie one on. When you start out by making rugged clothing for the men who moved America, you learn your clothing doesn't just need to stand up to the job. It needs to measure up to those who wear it. Five generations later, my name still stands for those who outwork them all. Introducing Carhartt Full Swing. Over 125 years of my family measuring hard work. So you can move like you mean it. Taming the beast isn't easy, but the bigger your electronics, the more you have on the line. In conditions like this, you need the KVD Kong Extreme Electronics Mount. The only electronics mount designed and built to be rock solid. No movement, no matter how heavy your gear. A marine grade mount for fresh or salt water that's monstrously strong. The KVD Kong Extreme Electronics Mount. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time. Because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. Introducing the new Motor Guide X5. The X5 was built with the most hardcore angler in mind. Designed for durability and quiet performance under the most extreme conditions, this one was punished like no other. Patented variable ratio steering will allow you to cut like a knife through the most brutal conditions. The new Motor Guide X5, the most extreme technology for the most extreme fishing. Dedicated, passionate anglers at G. Loomis, we bring you E6X. We know fishing and know how to make high performance rods. Each E6X blank features multi taper technology and action matched high grade cork handles, providing perfect balance and sensitivity. E6X belongs in your hand. Feel connected. For more information, visit gloomis.com. There's nothing better than a day on the nice water. Fish, son. Let's go catch a bigger one, Dad. But once in a while, you've no. got issues. Not again. Hey, Time for someone to step it. up and save the day. Oh, wait. Someone oh. with 24-7 towing dispatch assistance. Quality service from Towboat U.S., the nation's largest fleet. Yes. Boat U.S. membership makes boating safer you. and more affordable. Daddy, Dad. They saved <laughs> perfect summer intact. Join today at BoatUS.com. You're watching Zona Live. Brought to you by Humminbird. We're about to make a move. We've been making several drifts out on this flat. We've been jerking along and I get a phone call. Hello? What? No, no, don't. Big one. There no, should, joking. There shouldn't be. <laughs> he's the busiest man in the outdoors. Uh, he's also very busy at home. You know, we've got a remodel project going on at home, and and we got a lot of things going on. And I get a call. You know, we got a problem with the cabinets. Yeah, I, I called and gave you measured that. To, remember, I, I I know I gave you that measure. And I'm like, oh my god. 
So then it's like, I'm gonna be on the phone two or three minutes trying to get this all sorted out. While this is going on, Zona, oh, there's a good one. Begging. Rock formation out there, dog. Look at the formation, the rock out there. Three pounder, Ugh. at least. There is no doubt in my mind it pissed him off that I caught a big one when he was talking Ooh. on the phone. Dude, that's a dogger, man. That's a good one right that's there. That's a dogger. How about that? Like, while I was practicing. That is a good one. Get back on that damn phone of yours. <laughs> I will. Yep. Every break. Yep. Every break. Every break. Yep. I gotta go now, we're back alive. <laughs> I lost that, my phone at the, no, the no, first day of practice no, no, at the no. classic. The best one you ever had was that one right there where you literally redid your cabinets while we taped the show on St. Clair. Yeah, we were, we were remodeling the kitchen. He and Sherry remodeled their entire kitchen, what felt like the entire show, to be honest. <laughs> Question from Mark Z in Sturgis. How are you getting by not talking to Sherry this morning so far, Kevin? Uh, it's good. She, she's, she handles things on their own. I don't have to worry about this. I can just straight up go hog snatching. Stop biting. Okay. All right. We're back. Okay. Now we've got officially two more, two more social media power hours. Um, looks like the front's kind of getting out of here because the temp is, has dropped dramatically since this morning. I mean, it's gotten, it's gotten cold. I looked at the radar there, and it's it's still coming. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. I meant no. The storm is just on its way. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> Suge like that one. Having a time over there. T I M E Suge. There's grass. There's grass. Um, so it looks like we're, we're still going to have to, uh, to deal with some weather here pretty big time. It's going to rain. It's going to continue yeah. to rain, but I don't think it's much more than this, hopefully. I'll, I'll tell you, I woke up this morning and before that storm, before that storm got over Lake Michigan, before that storm got over Lake Michigan, um, it was all red when it was in Wisconsin. It was, there's the color of Kevin's rain suit. And I was like, oh no, we're gonna have to pull the, we're gonna have to pull the cord on this thing before it's even, before we even went live this morning. I cannot believe Yeah, because I don't have tomorrow. I mean, right. I got my brother's promotion. Right. Yeah, if you're in the Kalamazoo area the next two days, that's a pretty good place to be. Big show. DNR Sports. Biggest show of the year. Always. Easter weekend yeah. every year. Skeet's coming. He's flying today. and uh, I've taken the weekend off. Brad Knight from the FLW tour. Right on. David Fritz, how about that? Old right. school cranker. Hot, Hot Defo. Hot Defo. Jonathan Van Dam. Mark Zona. Not. <laughs> I'll be there next year, though. Well, you did the other weekend. Yeah. I did a couple weeks ago. You got the whole crew up. You'd be taping. You're like taping like a. And I understand why this week. Holy mackerel! Yeah, it's gonna get dude's really a, dude's good. Dude's biting. I'm gonna start moving again. Till we hit one, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of the one-two. Yeah. Smackdown. And what we're gonna do, gang, is what we'll do is we'll come down here a little more about another 20 minutes and then we're going to go back up there where the that spot's probably reloaded a little bit that that I'm I'm serious that was 2 hours of some of the craziest stuff I've seen in this state that was insane that was really Pretty special. Cabbage. Cabbage, Cabbage walls. Okay, because I'm not. 
slow down just a little. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna go past that 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 next mark, and then let's let's we'll oh. start making our way back. Got one? No, it's just the ooh, the good the hard stuff. Okay, I gotta get my okay. shallower bait on. I mean, it's not that shallow where we're catching them, but they'll come up and bite that jerk bait over that grass a lot better. You just can't fish it through it. That deep one is just a little questions, too deep. Questions, hashtags on alive. We'll have two more power hours. Dude, it's getting cold. Seriously, it is getting cold. You need to take a rest? You want to switch with air? Okay. Tell you what we're gonna do. Cameraman West said we're gonna get warmed up here a little bit and uh, take a look at some of that action from this morning. I started out with a stick. <laughs> Got it. Biggin. Biggin. Yeah, it is. Kevin, talk about what I'm happened after the first two fish catches that you had. I saw one of the best locked up, hooked up hogs that turned into a stick. It, it, <laughs> but hey, I caught, I caught some cabbage. Fish. Hey, explain, explain to people at home, Gosh. like when they say you gotta get one, oh like I, I, when they really started oh, biting. You kidding me? Yeah, yeah. One, even, the, even when the water's cold like this, if you, once you activate that, get that school stirred, Biggin, you know, and biggin, when the water's biggin. hot, I mean, that hydro wave is one of my key ways to do that. But when it's cold like this, in this clear water, they it's visual. They see it, because you can't get that close to them. They see it going right, on, right. and they get fired up. History of my life. And, and what's, what, what's weird about that? that first hour is they're, uh-oh. Uh -oh. What's weird about that first hour was there wasn't there wasn't one big one biting. I mean, only 70 percent of what bit was big was it was big. And I'm not lying. I thought maybe we'd come here today and catch a dozen, you know, three to four pounders. I had no premonition of that. I had no clue that was going to go down. Wow, and and really, if you're just tuning in, the 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 wow. the main baits wow. were a, a structure wow. jig wow. with a KVD trailer <laughs> and a rage bug. I mean, that's what did the predominant amount of damage. Don't, but the other side is we'll also show you the, the Darva Mega Slounge that <laughs> that, that Kevin caught on a jerk bait 30 minutes ago. Huge one. And, I, and I'll tell you, it, it seriously, it's miserable out. It's miserable. It's cold. Cameraman West, is it miserable? It is miserable. Cold. It's cold. That... But the next, really the next three days, four days in the state of Michigan are going to be, they're going to be incredible bass fishing. Like Sunday, Easter Sunday, Happy Easter, buck, buck, um, is going to be one of the best fishing days of the entire year on Sunday. Coming off of that, Saturday night is supposed to be really, really, really warm. That's going to be incredible. And I'll tell you, what we'll do is we'll go about another 10 minutes, and then we're going to idle our way back up to the, the nectar. But I'm gonna, I want to run that graph and show you, you guys at home what this looks like on a graph. You see that cabbage? Oh my gosh. I seriously did. During that scrape, I started to black out. How many questions do you think I'm going to get at DNR tomorrow morning? Yeah, right. And my seminar at 9.30 in the morning. You better tell Kenny to reorder the, the uh, Rage Bugs and the Bluegill Color Jerk Baits. <laughs> what a...
what a fun day. Mm -hmm. Looking at my nigga. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Again, we're giving a grand prize. Now, we do have, we can't tell anybody, Kevin has one grand prize. I've got one kind of thought. I've got one, one question that really kind of struck me as a really good question. To win a Helix 10 with mega imaging. Bluegill on the graph. Bluegill on the graph. Bluegills. Bluegills on the graph. When you got bluegill outside that uh -huh. cabbage. Oh. Just to kind of give you a uh, give you a little bit of a rundown, Zone Alive in the next couple months. I think we're gonna have in about a month. Um, we're talking to a young pistolero, Jordan Lee, Joe Lee. If he can lay down his duffel bag full of loot, maybe we can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Kevin, I'm going to throw something to you. Yeah. How about that classic? That was pretty incredible. So we, I just, you know, we just uh, fished at Toledo Bend, and then we had a media event there afterwards. And uh, Jordan and Matt were there, and Swindle was there, and Scroggins, you know, and stuff. And, you know, I've been to a bunch of those media events before. Yeah. With Joe. Yeah. And uh, it's a, he's, a, he's in a different spot right now. I think, I think his eyeballs are, uh, he's still looking Explain shot. that, explain that. Well, it, you know, he is just a normal kid, college kid doing what he wants, to, loves to do. And he likes to fish, man. He's a fisherman. And he doesn't want to have to deal with, or he didn't want, he, you do, but you don't. I mean, you just getting, he's getting called all the time from a lot of different media people from all over that he never would have thought about before. So a whole lot more people know who Jordan Lee is now after that final day that he had there. Right. I can't wait to see the show myself, you know, because it didn't happen on live, you know. All right, I got to throw something to the, to our friends at home real quick. I got to throw in a little KVD story at that classic. Um, and I did a, I actually did a, uh, uh, on Bassmaster.com, I did a video about this. It was after the day one weigh-in, we do, we do post-game interviews with the leaders. And Kevin came in, and Davey was sitting there. Mercer was on stage. Davey was sitting I called there. called it, man. And, and Tommy was sitting there. And Kevin goes, boy, this is going to take a lot of twists and turns by the end of this tournament. And I kind of looked at them, and now your leaders at the time were, so who do we have? At fr Cliff Crochet, um, Clifford Perch, Ayler. Um, Kevin goes, you'll never see the winner coming in this tournament. And I kind of looked at him, he goes, none of you got, he, somebody, he goes, somebody's going to charge from the back of the pack, and none of you will see him coming on the final day. Oh, uh -uh, I'm talking about locked up, Jack. That's a good one. I think it, I think it's old big melon slouch. Or maybe it's foul hooked. Old melon slouch. What is it? What is it? It's a mackerel. It's a it's, it's a, a mackerel. No pickerel. Thank you, Mr. Pike. He didn't even nick my line. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. I, was, I about took the safety <laughs> off. <laughs> It's mighty grassy right there. And he said that, and, and Kevin said that, and walked out of the room, and, and Davey was sitting there, and Tommy was there, and I was like, we'll have a camera on one of the top five as who's going to win this thing, and uh -uh. it was spot on. It was... I fish Conroe. It, it's not a lake that has a huge population, but it's got some great big ones. Right. And and I'm actually, I'm really surprised that... Uh, Jordan was the only one that really had one of those kind of days. You know what was strange about it though? I'll tell you what was, was really strange about that was all you guys said, all you guys said um, if somebody got, you know, that offshore bite going by the end of it that they would win. And, and granted, it wasn't way offshore. You know, he was only fishing, you know, five to 12, really 12 feet of water, but just off the bank, though. Yeah, but would you know? It, it, in the end, a lot of people said that 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 area up up the lake wouldn't hold up, and it was right. Um, you know, Kennedy was the one that was really closest 
to making that happen on the last day, you know, Ayler was just it was weird. It was weird it's watching that. Scratching and clawing. Scratching and clawing. You know, where everything he set the hook on, at least 50% of what he set the hook on, he'd catch three to four pounders the, the first two days, and they just completely disappeared into the last day. What, what shocked me more than anything was the last day I expected the shad spawn deal. You know, Edwin was catching them that way, and and uh, and that's that's what I ran out and did. And it was just it disappeared. What that, happened? That to, what day. happened to Edwin on the last day? He, no, I mean he was catching twenty pounds in, in the an first, hour. In, yeah, and nothing. You know, hey, they just EK, were gone. Two minute warning. We're gonna idle. Okay, bud. Get up there back to the nectar. You know what I mean? Whoo! See if we can't just lock up a few more times. Locked nope, up? No. Cabbaged up. <sighs> Everybody's going to have the flu at the end of this day. I'm serious. How many more waypoints around this? Oh, you let, got a cluster at yeah, the end. Yeah, let's not even worry about those down there, though. Let's. Uh, you sure? Yeah, I'm gonna idle. I wanna. I wanna get west behind me, and we'll. Uh, we'll idle. I just wanna show that. What that break looks like on down imaging. Hey, Sooch! Something I'd like to do real quick on hashtag Zone Alive. Yeah. I'd like some recommendations. Besides, now I am doing. I'm doing a, a, a Zone Alive with Joe Lee. And one with that fella from New Jersey, Ike and Ellie this year, is some recommendations of lakes and other guests for the future. Get some Ike Live, get some of that. There's Z Life hat. Here, I'll get my Z Life right there. Or not, we don't have to do that. <laughs> All right, we idling. Can't stand it, huh? No, sir. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at here. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank everybody that's joined us today. This has been a special, special, magical couple hours so far. We've had a lot of fun. What we're going to do, I'm still charting on this, but what I'm going to do is... Mega imaging. You got to show the mega imaging. Yeah, Hang on, I'll, I'll get it. Go ahead. I got to get my cast in. I'm going to do the down imaging. There we go. That was fun today, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. That was awesome. Bluegill scruff. That's it. There it is. That's the magic right there. It's all real, real, real thick cabbage. That's the magic right there. That is the magic. And what'll happen is, I'm gonna go straight out here. Hold up. Sorry. With that jerk bait, you gotta have a lot of sugar. But see, see where it gets real, real clean? <laughs> and then all of a sudden you'll get, yeah. and I'll tell you, what, what's interesting is where we caught all those bass today, you see that hard line of cabbage right there? Where we caught those bass was a clean area in that cabbage. Rocky. Rocky. It was a, just a real, real clean patch in that grass. You get a real clean bottom. Hang on. And the other day, my buddy and I idled this whole thing, and you could tell exactly where those real, real thick beds of cabbage were. Yeah, 
You see, we didn't get many bites right through that. Right, because there's oh, not. There we go. There, there we go. Right there. Look, 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 look. Oh, mm -hmm. that's what you're hunting for where it's next to a clean area. And see how it stops right there? That's what they're on. That's it. But like yesterday, what's compared to what we're doing here today, well, oh, that's a real thick deal. Yesterday, all we did, uh, we did this all day long. Deeper though, we were in like 20 to 45 yesterday on a much clearer lake. And the, like I said, the lake that we were on yesterday, tons of pressure, tons of pressure. But we were fishing, we were looking for little isolated pieces of wood. And you'd find one little isolated piece of wood and you'd catch two or three big largemouth or smallmouth on it from, from 20 to 35 feet deep. But I'll do this, I'll do this, literally, I'll do this more than... I'm just texting. All right, I was just wondering what you're doing. It's all day long, it's all day long. All day, all day. Somebody, I mean, yeah, I gotta keep, I gotta keep working. Kevin's Cheers. building a new gazebo out back this trip. Well, um, I'm actually remodeling my garage. Are you really? Yeah. Hey, you're sitting on the glove. I'm gonna um, warm up my hands at least. It's cold. But one of the questions, one of the questions that we had from. Oh, from look at there! Oh my goodness. Bluegill Blue pod, pod. Bluegill pod. Bluegill pod. Bluegill pod. Bluegill hey, pod. Can you just speed it up a little bit? I'm going. I like catching them. I'm I don't going. like. Um, he's a talker. I'd say 50% of my time, 50% of my time bass fishing. Let's go left. Is doing this all day long. And it gets frustrating. Yeah, let's go around it. I'm trying to speed him up. All right, we're going. Look at the sun, Uncle Wes. Okay, hold on, gang. Good, bud. I'm gonna roll around that side. Hey, dude, this is real steep, okay? Yeah, I know, I know. I like it. I'm okay. We get, get back right where we kind of started. We started the show on in this stretch. Kevin, let's drop the clutch on him. Hey, we got to catch 30. We're going to. I want some new meat. Big thanks to all of you that have, I'm a disaster right now. Seriously, big thanks to all of you that have hung with us all day today. It's only 1030. I know, but well, we only got an hour and a half. It's kind of, I'm a little depressed. And huge, th big thanks to our sponsors that have donated the prizes, big prizes. We already gave away a TH Marine Kong Mount $100 gift certificate for Power Pole. The next one, we're giving away $300 worth of trocar hooks and one of everything Bass Mafia makes. And those are coming right from the companies. It has nothing to do with bass. Coming right from the right from the companies. And at the end, we're gonna give away a Helix 10 Mega Imaging, which ha -ha. I'm telling you, the Exactly that unit that we were just using, well, we're giving one of those. Side away. Imaging is something that's been huge for me. But this, this new Mega Imazine is absolutely, I mean, it's stunning. It, it's, it's so, it's such an improvement. It really is, it's way, crazy. Way out. Oh, 
I'll get up. <laughs> I caught a stick to start. I mean a good, and I fought it all the way in the boat. It's like the stick would ride high, and then it was like I, I literally okay. almost said during the fight, I, I just felt a big head shake. 15 minutes till social 15 media 15 minutes power. till social media hour. hour. 15 minutes till questions. Suit, you nailed that. <laughs> it's a real steep break. Real steep break. It's what they call the ultimate transition. There ought to be one on that. I invited Kevin over tonight for steaks. We're going to make steaks for the crew because Such is leaving. Vandy wanted us to do them tomorrow night, but Karen shot them down. Um, <laughs> what do you got? I don't know. Another stick? No, I think I got a walleye. It's yeah. a dadgum walleye. Little chub. Um, Kevin's got a house full of people coming tonight for his brother's in-house show. <sighs> what? Crash Kevin's party? Yeah. I got a chill chamber fully <laughs> locked and loaded. No, I got to work tomorrow. <laughs> no, <laughs> I got, no, no, no. I'll tell you what we should not do. <laughs> Maybe Saturday night? Mm -hmm. Not tonight. Oh, gosh. That must be wood. Yeah, see those trees that are sawed off on the point? Oh, it's coming. It's another stick. Just drop that out here in about 20 foot. Right. Come back in the summer. This morning I'd have said, I gotta said big in. <laughs> How much fun. Oh, that's been a naughty little weapon today. Naughty weapon. Sorry about that, Ralph. Well, I know you gotta throw where the. I'm all right. Such, we got any, we, uh, some, some folks saying guests and uh, guests in some different lakes that we should try to do live on? Cell service permitted. That's the that's challenge. The, that's the challenge. I don't see any yet, but I'm sure we got some coming in. I, I've been looking at the questions that are already here. So All right. We'll dig those up. Thanks, Such. I'll tell you what's what's cool as could be is <laughs> cameraman Wes could attest to this is how hard the bites are that we're getting today. How hard these bites are. I mean the way they, they were hitting that jig. Dum, dum. Yesterday, those fish. I'll show you exactly what I caught them on yesterday. This is the exact bait. Exact bait. Every one of them I caught yesterday, I caught on that one right there. Small mouth and large mouth, great big ones. Um, you'd throw it out, you'd throw that bait out yesterday, and you'd sit there, and you'd sit there, and you'd get it down on the bottom, and you'd basically just pulse your rod and move it about an inch at a time, an inch at a time, an inch at a time, and all, all it would do is, that what I said was, the, the bite yesterday felt like where you kind of stretch a rubber band, where you you would you know how you kind of check your rod, and then you just load up on them. It's about rage bug time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's funny is I caught him on a KVD swimmer yesterday, a rage swimmer, and you throw. We had been out there looking around and stuff like that, and you throw a tube out there, never get a bite, never catch one. I, I, I couldn't understand that. They like that slow wag this time of year. That's that, that swimmer just 
Because you weren't fishing it fast at all, I guarantee you. You had to be, you had to be <laughs> no, dragging it, was, it. It was fairly painful. Dragging it. I know that I probably should not be jerking this jerk bait here in just a minute based on what I saw a few minutes ago. We're getting close to it again. Not We've a, got a list of places. All right. What do you got, Sooch? Malax. Oh. Ooh. Who's that from? That fighter. Who's that from? Yeah. Who's that? <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, fighter and I have actually <laughs> talked about doing from one this Ian year. Hill. Fighter and I have talked about doing one yet this year. I'm not scared to knock out like eight to ten zone alive, Sooch. With Dave Mercer, how about going to Simcoe? Oh. Oh, catch a seven That's pound That's low smally. quantity, high quality. That's a dangerous <laughs> one. I like it. David Fritz, how about that? Sharon Harris, where those those big bags were caught okay. not long that ago. That window's closed. It's 40 pound plus. That window's That's closed. That's done. Game over. Don't chase a bite, Sooch. I learned that from my California buddies. Don't ever chase a bite. Don't leave fish to find fish. Be the trendsetter. <laughs> hey, these are suggestions. I always see getting yelled Chesapeake at. Chesapeake Bay with Aaron Martins. I like that. You like it? I like that. I, I, like I will tell you something. What I saw at Chesapeake Bay last year with Ike and Ellie, they live there, man. They're very smart. They're very smart, but they live there. I'd like to go to the Potomac in like February. I bet you we'd do the same thing there. You think? Oh yeah, be entitled. They're going to be all in certain wintering areas. KBD, did you say St. Clair is your favorite lake? St. Clair, I just think it's the best. Over a thousand islands? It, from, it, this is why, because from ice on to ice off, it's a bummer. Right. But when the ice goes off there for the rest of the year until the ice goes on. It's happening. It's, it is, I mean, other places are good for a month or whatever, you know, I mean, but that place is kicking all year. Biggins too. Hey, Sooch. Yeah. Anything? Oh, you guys have done well. Yeah, they want you to go to Lake Mead in the summer. 100 degree heat after a night in Vegas. No, no cell service. Whoa. No cell service. Well, wait, 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 wait. What was that? 100 degree, 100 degree heat after Don't a night in shot. Vegas? Yeah. That's like a usual you, night you of ICAST. You and I go out after a night in Vegas. <laughs> that's, a, that's a night of ICAST. Mead in 100 degree heat. See who falls first. Do that one with John Murray. Is ICAST in Vegas this year? It's in Florida, which would be about the same thing. Go with Bo Johnson the day after. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even cameraman Wes went, huh? <laughs> the wind has totally switched. Yep. Totally switched. 180 degrees okay. since we yep. were here this morning. Yes, 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 yes. See, got some names. Such, Zona and Cameraman Wes. Sanders. Yeah. Cameraman Wes and Such. Yeah. I know who uh -oh, you are. Oh, you got to fish with one. Okay. Work with one and drink with one. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta do that again. We gotta do that again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Such Sanders Such and Cameraman West. Sanders drink Such, work. Sanders Such and Cameraman West. Is this from a viewer? This is in my ear from the producer. I know oh, the I, viewer I, that came, came up straight with up from, I'm giving a that viewer came, came from up Eminem. with that? Donnie Story, I believe. Donnie but, Story just won himself. Every <laughs> one of everything Bass Mafia makes and $300 worth of Trocar hooks. 
So, I did that. <laughs> so, so the, the question is now, I got the three players. Such, Wes Miller, and Tommy Sanders. Tommy Sanders. And what are the three choices? Work, fish, drink. <laughs> no, I'm going to offend one of you guys. Um, fish? You, you could just flip a coin on, any, on that hole. I have to say. Boy. Fish, I have to say. I, I fish with Wes every, like 200 days. I'm going to say Tommy. I'm going to say Tommy. See, I would think Tommy, you get Tommy with an old fashioned in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the problem. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. I have had some old fashions with Tommy and Dave Mercer, if you know what I mean, boy. Oh, oh my gosh. The little ice clinking in the glass. I could, I can just see Sanders. Fill it up again. Fish, Tommy. <laughs> Work suit. Party, Wes. Mm -hmm. I, the thing is, I do all three with Wes all day long. <laughs> yeah, already. <laughs> Dude. Wow. Can we start asking questions? You guys ready? Is it time? Let her rip, buddy. Hey, time? seriously, seriously, whoever asked that question, get his name. It's down in the in the studio. From Bass Mafia, they are going to send you one thousand dollars worth of Bass Mafia down stuff. Down in the studio, He's, they got it. Okay, and three hundred dollars worth of Trocar hooks. I like that guy. I, I got to go. Now we've only got one grand prize left for the next. So a Hummingbird Helix Ten, Mega Imaging. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's a bad cast. All right, Dallas Scott wants to know from Kevin, if Zona was a bass, what lure would you use to catch him? A jig. And Zona, same question. It's a jig. Huh? Same question to you, Zona. Did uh, KVD were a bass. So Kevin said I would eat a jig. Him? No, it, not just a jig, but. Yeah, what's the sky? He, he's going to have a big old chunk of pork on the back, a bohog frog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like an old bacon rind. So, if you, you know what I mean? Like Davey Height victory. A big, You're a good old bake, flipping a bacon okay. rind. Okay, not to change the subject, but real quick. Yeah. Best meal you and I have ever had together? Oh gosh. Easy. Easy. True story. True, True story. Got it. Got this. True Unbelievable. Story. We were down in Atlantis. We were down in Atlantis. On a, on a family holiday vacation, and Best. we went to a Hands down. to a steakhouse. We go to a steakhouse, and they got those you know those crazy tomahawks and those bone-in ribeyes. And the waiter comes over, and Kevin, I'm gonna say Kevin said this. I asked. Asked said, "What is the biggest steak you have in here?" And he snaps his fingers, snaps his fingers, and a whole entourage of employees come to the table. Carrying a cow? No, cow and they're like, they gathered around and they were kind of talking and they go back into the kitchen and come out with this steak that was about that big around. It was a loaf of meat. With and the like bone. it was- With the bone. With the bone. And they, and they said, they, they, they don't make them hardly ever in this restaurant. And I said, well, do you have two? And it was, I swear to you, it was. He gnawed the bone. It on was his like at a the four end. pound steak, and I ate the whole thing. It's a full day of fishing. And the get problem a, was, I got like, when we went through that, when those fish started biting, where I got started to black out, when I was eating that steak like three quarter way <laughs> through, and my eyes started tingling and sparkling. Corey Roselle's asking, what's better to watch for, the shad spawn or the, the, the bluegill spawn? Both. You want to target something? Both. I don't fish shad lakes as much as I fish bluegill lakes, so I target bluegill. I like this next question. Okay. Angelo DiLorenzo, what's your proudest fishing moment as Ooh. a father? Who gets to go first? Wow. Wow. Oh, that, oh, that's a great, that, I, I love that question. Um, well, you sound a, ready for it, then maybe Mark it's, should go it's first. It's tough because the, the, the challenge is, is we both have twins, and you, it's hard to put one with one moment with one over the other, you know, two. Right. So go ahead, Z. I know what yours is already. Team tournament. Yeah, last year there was a classic, and we were all in studio. 
and my kids had their big classic and it was for you know 1500 bucks and big to them and trophies and plaques and and they took first and 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 big bass and and that was you know i wasn't there but my wife videotaped it but for hunter and jacob yeah i'm not gonna lie I, I, something that was close to that was watching them back into a boat ramp the first time without me. <laughs> when, they had, when, when they actually got it in the water, I was pretty proud. I, I've had lots with my boys. I, I'm gonna tell you, uh, Jackson and Nicholas have grown up, I mean, we carried them as babies with oxygen and feeding tubes and everything on the tour, but um, they love to do different things. So. Last year I got to take them down with Bo Johnson and we fished for Goliath grouper and sharks and that was cool. So I got a picture of Jackson with like a 180 pound wow. black tip in his hand and his, you know, Bo's the only guy crazy enough to, to grab it out of the water and put it in his arms like that. But that and we had big, you know, we all caught big sharks and groupers and they just, that was a pretty special day right there. So not necessarily the proudest moment I've ever had, but I mean, a pretty, just to, see how much fun it was for them to be able to do that. Oh. Brian Scott's asking how the folks at home can help donate to autism, and wow. I emailed Mercer, and he said, give us so, the KVD for so, the contest this month. Yeah. There's a, there's a, well, John Brian, Cruz got a trophy made for it even. Yeah, so the, the deal with, you know, everybody, um, there's a lot of good autism charities, and Generally, there's some, some good local ones in just about anybody's area, and there's, and there's several big ones. So, you know, the great thing is, is there's so much more awareness in the last few years. It's, it's, uh, it's really making a big difference. So I, it doesn't matter which one. I don't want to tell you to support just one. So I, you know, myself, I, we end up uh, supporting several, several different ones, both local and national. All right. Amanda Howard Haney, what is the deepest you have ever seen a smallmouth fish on a bed? Any place you fish. That'd be with a cone. Dude. Yeah, I've seen them with a cone down to 26. Yeah, I was going to say 25 yeah. foot. And I'm going to tell you, here's what I can say. That was with my eye. I'm going to tell you that I'm positive on Lake Erie, they spawn deeper. Way deeper. Way deeper. On the buffalo end of Lake Erie, where that water is much, much clearer, when you get from Dunkirk to Silver Creek to Sturgeon Point, stuff like that, I'm convinced those fish will spawn in 30 to 35 feet of water when that water is clean. I'm convinced of it. Ooh, Doc Talk is asking of your thoughts concerning the weed chemical, the chemicals being used on lakes to get rid of the weeds. The worst thing ever. I understand controlling weeds. There's just no happy medium, unfortunately. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. We finally got a bite and you missed oh it. Oh my gosh. Um, let, let me, let me tell I understand using chemicals the correct way to control weeds. The wrong way is decimating a lake, carpet bombing it. Cleaning it out. That is the wrong way to do it. Yeah, there's, uh, my experience is they just, there's no in between. Let, let me ask you a question. Hold on, Suge. I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever heard the term? <laughs> uh, oh! I know where I'm throwing. Biggin? I don't think so. I don't know. No. Have you ever heard the term, the statement, wow, really spraying the grass in our lake has made the fishing just mm. awesome. You never hear that. You never hear, man, you know, just obliterating the grass in our lake has just really exploded the fish population. I'm sorry. Now, I'm not gonna go all political on that. Controlling it's good, eradicating that. That's a breaking news. I got, we got the image of the stare down. Say it again. Atlanta. In Atlanta. What? And there. Oh, Dude, oh, Atlantis? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to lie. I think I beat him. They're seeing I think, it. I think I ate more of my steak than he ate of his. <laughs> no question. No. Kevin. He beat me. Kevin, yep. serious. What, what do you imagine you would do when you retire? 
and if you retire from fishing. Fish? I'm a, I, I will probably fish and then uh, do a little go fishing. Then do a little fishing. And then I'm gonna go hunting in hunting season. But then Z's gonna call me and we're gonna go fishing. So you basically you'll go fishing? We're gonna go fishing. Now do you get this free time together to just fun fish? Is this like the best fishing but time you've had in a while? We there try to do a little bit of summer vacay where we get to uh the majority of our fishing though is on a pontoon boat. Yeah. Now. Yeah. And okay. that's fine, but 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 we did. We used to do a lot of this, Such. What we're doing today, we right. used to do a lot of this. Kind of wrote that. And where we don't get to as much anymore. And a lot of that's on him, a lot of that's on me. Uh, we both have. Yeah. <laughs> it, oh no. Now that you're not going to the studio as much, though, maybe. Oh. <laughs> Chad Reuter wants to know, he's a young, aspiring fisherman. Oh, How would you approach the small, <laughs> clear water, high oh my pressure gosh, California there's a big in, lakes? Big in. Hang on, Such, I got a giant. That's old jigger. That's a good one. Wow. <laughs> I did everything I could to shake him off. I guess. Look at that pre-spawner. See you, bud. Wow. Throwing a jig is fun. Yeah, he's got the, you know, the brown and purple. The PB and J for breakfast. Such, what were you saying? I'm sorry. You young guys starting out on the clear. High pressure California lakes, how would you approach those? Uh, well, I'm gonna approach those the same way I would say in Michigan. Here's what I can tell you. Don't be scared to fish the outer realm. When I say don't be scared to fish the outer realm, a fish, lot of people- Fish the unknown you can't see, man. A lot of people, when they see their depth finder go past 20 feet of water, they freak out. If you really think about it, think about it. Look at this boat right here. This boat is 21 feet long. That's not deep. Do you see what I mean? Oh, if yeah. you look at this boat from tip to where Uncle Wes is standing, that's 20 feet, okay? That's not deep. Like where we caught them yesterday, 30 to 40 feet of water. That's still not. Uh-oh. That's still not that deep. The one thing I could tell you in clear, clear, clear water, don't be scared to look at your depth finder and see 40 to 60. They live out there. All right, for both Mark and Ken from Jason Goss, St. Joe County. I know He's Jason Goss. Wondering to know how to help and get local underprivileged kids involved in fishing. Great. Question. Any local organizations that you know to contact to see how they can help? To, to get kids in, involved yeah. in fishing? The best thing to do is call your local police station. Because most, most firemen, uh, most county in, in Michigan, most county like St. Joe County, Michigan, they have a, a kids fishing day, kids fishing, you know, outing and stuff like that. Gotcha. That's the, at least a, that I know. Kevin might. I think you're involved in programs up here. Yeah, there, there's a lot of camps too, uh, all around the country that have fishing programs that you can um, get kids to. Like so, Pretty Lake Vacation Camp is one. They do a burn camp for a week there. And, and fishing is part of their program. Sherman Lake Camp is another one. Um, there's one. There's one on the other side of the state at Gross Isle. I mean, there, there's a lot of different kids camps that ha they'll have weeks de designated just towards that. Jeff Harris wants to know. I'm gonna just tell you real quick, I'm gonna get dangerous with this jig here again in a second. So. Z, have you ever been banned from DNR Sports Center? <laughs> <laughs> Have, no, I don't think <laughs> only only Tim Vanderhill's <laughs> shop. Bay. Jeff Harrison, KVD is RVD a better fisherman Ooh. than KVD or JVD? Oh, he, he's he's the best all time, probably <laughs> best ever in the history of fishing, I guess. All right, David Prince wants to know about northern smallmouth mouth and southern smallmouth. What's the difference? <laughs> they're they're not even the same species, man. A northern smallmouth and a southern smallmouth, to me, they are not the same species. Yeah. Kevin may agree or disagree, 
But I can tell you the ones I fish for four hours north of here do not act like they do eight hours south of here. He's in yeah. South Carolina wondering about the, the patterns of Kevin, fishing. Kevin, go ahead. Them. No, they, it's the, the difference is, is the forage bases where they live. That really controls uh, how they act and, and what they're going to, uh, uh, you know, what they're going to, you know, set up on as far as structure and things like that. Ours have so many different types of forage now, but I mean, it's, it's perch, it's gobies, uh, somewhat crawfish, things like that, emerald shiners, you know, ciscos, alewives, and that, where down south, those shad eaters and stuff like that, no good. Smallmouth fishing in the south isn't smallmouth fishing compared to up here. I mean, I'm hitting rock, like I'm, yeah, oh, I know, it's, is, a, is just, it's in the right place. Dakota Rutledge, I'm on the, just Rutledge wants to know how do you guys manage to fish with gloves? Uh, Dakota has trouble feeling rod and having feel with with gloves on. I can tell you, even though these are wet, I'm getting another pair out. These are the best fishing gloves I've ever used in my entire life. Ever. Ever. It's a pair of Carhartt fishing gloves, and I literally cannot get enough of them in my boat. Like I sit in here with 12 pairs. You went through three pairs yesterday, I went got three wet pairs and you just yesterday. Grabbed another pair. Um they're they're real, real thin, plus they got a good grip. Hey, Vinny, how do you balance fishing and family being so much on the road? Same mm -hmm. with you, probably, Z. Appears you've done a really good job. You guys got some really uh, sharp, well-mannered children. Appreciate that. You said really like nine times in that sentence. I only read it once. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, um, Sherry does the best job of managing the schedule and planning. You know, so we, we schedule family time. You have to. You know, I mean, it's... It, it's harder the older your kids get, but they're only young once, so you have to enjoy it while you can. And um, now that mine are in college, you know, their schedule is, is pretty rigid, and so is ours, so it makes it harder to do. But Sherry does a really good job of looking out in advance, and, and uh, a lot of times we schedule things hoping that it all lines up, and sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. But um, I only have, like, six friends, and two of them are Hunter and Jacob, so we fish, like eight days a week together so my biggest thing is whenever i can get on the water with hunter and jacobs one minute tj asks how competitive are your twins when it comes to fishing very on my <laughs> i mean with each other i mean are they well, um, jealous of the other one when they outdo them um I, here's what i can tell you on a, their tournament side because they fish you know they fish Teams. 20 to 30 tournaments minimum a year now is I can tell you when one of them's catching them, and I can tell you when one of them's not, because the other one lets him know, you're your backpack right now, and I'm carrying you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they refer to each other, huh? Mine aren't mean to each other like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kevin, we got a question from Mark Z down in Sturgis. <laughs> if there was a professional team tournament trail, would Zona ever be your partner, maybe? <laughs> maybe? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes! Yes, win some plaques! We got it. We, I'll create uh, early nine million. We only got an hour, dude. We got to go get after it. This wind has changed. I'd I say, let's, say it. I'd almost go to the far end and, and go with it back. I'm good with that. I'm good. Last question, go, Suit. Bradley Keith, which would you rather uh, have uh, the all-time classic record or the all-time AOI record? Ooh. Both. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> Them uh, all. <laughs> which would you rather crush and put out of reach is what they wanted to know. Both. <laughs> no, seriously, no, hold on. I'm gonna call you on that. <laughs> you could only get one. Yeah, you can only have you one. You can only get one. Come on. Oh, uh, I, I think um, as an angler, the, the angler of the year, the Angler of the Year is the hardest. Th it's you'd rather have that than no. The the, cla the the classic means more to the general fishing public, but to the angler, no. Ten years from now, when you're 65 and you say to yourself, ten years from now, whatever you are. I mean, you're come on. What'd you say last year? I'm not over the damn. <laughs> <laughs> ten years from now, you say to yourself. That's the one no, I the, wanted. The, the classic is, it, it is. Got it's it. the biggest deal in our sport. I thought one locked up on my jig right there. So. Okay, 
Last commercial break. You got any questions? Hashtag Zone Alive. One more hour. We're going to make a move and do We're some gonna make a move. snatching. We'll be back in a minute. We gone. Oh my gosh. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. But look how perfect this bass is built. Look how perfect that thing's built. Just perfect. Gosh. We looked, literally looked for days to find the right cell service. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. <laughs> Zone Alarm is brought to you by G. Loomis. Boat U.S. T.H. Marine. And by Bass Mafia. Idols are all around. In the unseen corners of the world. No monuments built in their honor. or mountains adorned with their face. Because heroes aren't driven by fame. They're carved from courage, guts, glory, ram. Shops, it's more than a store. It's great service from folks who know what they're talking about. It's a low price guarantee. And free events that are fun for the whole family. It's great brands from Coleman and North Face to Redhead and Ascent. Fast Pro Shops, for great service, great prices, and the great outdoors all meet up. There's never been a better time to come to Bass Pro Shops than right now. Every time we go fishing, you know we gotta tie one on. In all honesty, when do I not tie one on? <laughs> Every time I go on the water, I love to tie one on. Every day of the week, I like to tie one on. You may not know this about me, but every once in a while, I've been known to tie one on. Come on, man, join the Stray King team. All you gotta do, tie one on. <laughs> I think I always tie one on. My name is Hamilton Carhart. Since 1889, I've built gear for the harshest conditions. From the trenches of World War I to the skylines of America and every rugged corner in between. Introducing Carhartt Force Extremes, powered by 37.5, built to tackle any condition so you're never hot, never cold, never done. Taming the beast isn't easy, but the bigger your electronics, the more you have on the line. In conditions like this, you need the KVD Kong Extreme Electronics Mount. The only electronics mount designed and built to be rock solid. No movement, no matter how heavy your gear. A marine grade mount for fresh or salt water that's monstrously strong. The KVD Kong Extreme Electronics Mount. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time. Because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. 
Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. Introducing the new Motor Guide X5. The X5 was built with the most hardcore angler in mind. Designed for durability and quiet performance under the most extreme conditions, this one was punished like no other. Patented variable ratio steering will allow you to cut like a knife through the most brutal conditions. The new Motor Guide X5, the most extreme technology for the most extreme fishing. Dedicated, passionate anglers at G. Loomis, we bring you E6X. We know fishing and know how to make high performance rods. Each E6X blank features multi taper technology and action matched high grade cork handles, providing perfect balance and sensitivity. E6X belongs in your hand. Feel connected. For more information, visit gloomis.com. There's nothing better than a day on the nice water. Fish, son. Let's go catch a bigger one, Dad. But once in a while, you've no. got issues. Not again. Hey. Time for someone to step up and save the day. Oh, wait. Someone oh. with 24-7 towing dispatch assistance. Quality service from Towboat US, the nation's largest fleet. Yes. Boat US membership makes boating safer you. and more affordable. Daddy, Dad. They saved <laughs> perfect summer intact. Join today at BoatUS.com. You are watching Zona Live. Brought to you by Humminbird. Watching him with a spinner bait is art. That was the best bite ever. Oh my God, did he cream it. I cast it out there, turned the handle once, and he pile drived it. It is art. It is magical gooey rich goodness to watch him fish that thing. That's a big one. <laughs> That's a big one. That is a big one. Come here, give me, give me something right there. That's a big one. Gigantor. Wow. Let's keep him the Insta chat. Man, wow. That is a handful. I go back to certain shoots that we've had and certain vacations that we've had where he really does not care the entire vacation or shoot if you catch one. But he'll let you look at all the ones that he's catching. <laughs> Kevin Van Dam will catch a great big one and say, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that and I saw the last 30. <laughs> Every one of them. Oh my God, big one. And it was setting up to be just another one of those shoots. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Blackie. Another Mamba. We ought to just go to another lake. Let's just leave. <laughs> Let's just leave. Kid. And I always say on this show that I am not a very competitive human being. That is a big one. But I am with him. <laughs> you hear me, boy? Ooh. And... Hey, friends, welcome back. Final Ooh. hour. <clears throat> Power, power hour, hour power, power hour. hour, zone alive. <laughs> it's been quite a morning. If you're just tuning in, we have had a T-I-M-E, a pre-Easter. We have moved. We have moved. I just caught uh, one right when we moved right there. So I believe uh, I believe we've kind of we've hurt the break that we were. Oh, oh gosh. He's, oh gosh. I mean, a dead gum stud. Uh, oh, uh, oh my gosh. You gotta have. Isn't that something? Fresh ones. Fresh ones. Look at that. Old red mouth. God, I love that. Show them the red mouth. You gotta have that when you, you know, early in the year like that, they'll, they'll all have that roof of their mouth, that red like that. Just getting ready. Getting ready for the party. Oh. You good? You good? When's your party start? Party starts 
It's tonight? To, uh, no. Tomorrow night. Who will be at the party, Kevin? Everybody who's anybody, except for you, because you're going to leave. I'll be working. You'll be working. I'll be working this weekend. I got a fully stocked chill chamber. I want to thank everybody that's hung with us today on Zone Alive. It's been well, awesome. Thanks for was, asking me to, to go. Yes, sir. We got one hour yet. We still... Look at that one on the boat. Look, west, 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 oh. west, west, west. Look at that. Big gigantic. Look at that one. That's old sloppy Joe. Well, it, it's seriously dropped 15 degrees since this morning. And the wind has changed yes. 180 degrees. Yeah, St. Clair would have been no fun. No, 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 no. It's all work. Here comes some more rain. This is a little deeper spot. I got that deep jerk. Are they hammering it? No, just no. loading up on it. Not like that early morning bite. They were a little little happy when we got there. Those are what we call greeters. Yeah, they were. <laughs> they were. Suit, you Good all cabbage. prepared for the for the final power hour? Oh, I still got some work to do. Okay. Hashtags on live, work. last questions. 45 minutes, well, 30 minutes now. Mm. Thooch, thooch. Keep sending them in to oh, hashtags uh -oh, on the uh -oh, live. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It feels bigger. Oh, I don't know, too fast. He's moving too fast to be a big one. So what's going to happen, because I know how this program works, is I'll be jerking him up like that, and then he's going to slide that little old rage bug or that jig out there. Catch a melon <laughs> head. Melon head. Mm-hmm. Oh, melon head. That one bit close to the boat, like real close. Well, there's good grass where I'm throwing. But, is there? Okay. Yeah, like really good. I'm going to have to... Put the shallower bait on it. Really good. I'm not hitting it bottom yet, though. Really good grass. This deep one runs so it's deep. It's, that, but it's just bottom grass. Yeah. No, there's no there's cabbage where you're throwing right there. Okay. I've not caught any cabbage. Melon head slouch. Oh, yeah. Plumpage. Oh, God, that uh -oh. one took the rod out of my hand. Okay, I want to catch one on a jerk bait. Yeah. <laughs> that one. Something? God, did he pound it. Biggin? Nope. No? No? Nope. There's one. Yeah, let's see what happens with the rage bug. I'll tell you though, when the old jerkbait locks up like that, it doesn't enjoy that. That's a chunk. Look at that, man. We've done a bunch of shows on, on cracking tubes in grass this time of year. Actually, one of them aired last year, cracking tubes through real heavy grass. And basically it's the same principle right there, just with a rage bug. But what I've noticed is about that rage bug, you'll get a few less bites than a tube, but, but your size can exponentially go up. I like, I like that in, so we're...
I actually was back to the left. Okay. Too. Up in here. Right there. Yeah. Okay. That's where I caught the last one, and you were. You were, were you 15. ripping and a tearing, or ripping and a tearing through grass? No, it, it, but the last one about knocked the rod out of my hand, so I bet he's got friends. <laughs> Sorry, Wes. I hear you. <laughs> exactly. I get all serious when I, I start I, snatching I, them, you know? I, I know. But no, I gotta, here, you take the front. You let sure? Me, let me throw this back okay. yonder. Okay, okay. Because I had, I got a feeling he had pals. As he bit it on, I mean, it was just sitting there and he about ripped really? it out of my hand. Yeah, it was on a big pause, which is a one second for me. I really grouped up good, man. I hope they are all weekend. Oh. This weather's wow, helpful. The sky's getting brighter. Ten seventeen. Keep moving, dude. We gotta, we gotta rock this out. <laughs> burn and turn. I'm bunkered in. I'm going nowhere, Jack. <laughs> what do you got there? Nothing. All right, you go ahead and take it, and I'll, I'll chuck up. Okay. I knew it. I knew by the end of the day. I'll have that trolling motor. <laughs> I will have that trolling motor. How many times do you start on the trolling motor and I finish? Always? Pretty much every time. Okay, this question is from Wes and Little Rock. Yeah, Wes and Little Rock, go ahead. What's the best 30 minutes left of a tournament you've ever had? KVD, best 30 minutes left of a tournament you've ever had. I'm going to tell you, the last 30 minutes at Bass Fest at Kentucky Lake two years ago was incredible. I was catching a four to six pounder every throw. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. And no camera. It was awesome. Shea Baker. <laughs> Shea Baker. Yeah, I had Shea Baker. Shea Baker. I don't know, Buck. All I know is he's catching every throw. It was unbelievable. So let me ask you, the rumor was, the rumor was if Iconelli won the Classic, that he was gonna retire this year. He was all done. If KVD had won the Classic, would he have done that? Questions from Mark Z and Sturgis, off Twitter handle. What would I do if I retired, man? <laughs> Everybody wants me to retire. Aaron keeps asking me, when are you going to retire? When bro. are you going to retire? What did he say to me once? Oops. Bro, I think, I think could I you think. imagine if I'm JVD like, wouldn't be fishing the same era I was fishing? <laughs> he said that to me once. <laughs> bro, could you imagine my record? I mean, it's still a good record, but imagine how good it would have been. Yeah, we good. Yeah, we good. We good. We coming up on some slouchy, slouch, slouch. Gee. Yeah, I knew um, David had been kind of thinking about it for a while. And, you know, I think that opportunity came up and it. He's good at it. I think he's, he's, he's phenomenal done, at he's, it. He's it's fantastic at it. Yeah. We really are enjoying him. Dude, he's, he's, he's a natural at it. He's, he's every, like, I, I seriously, he's, I, I look up to. As, as little time as he's done it. Look, let me put it this way, and Kevin knows what I'm saying about this. Working with Tommy Sanders is, Tommy makes your job easy because he's so awesome at what he does. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. But for, for no more time than Davey's really done it, but he's the right guy to do it. He's the right guy. He was nervous about it going in too. He was. He was. because. Oh, I'm talking there, about there's a good full blown big in KVD. Are you coming to jump? Oh. Oof. 
I might have to put my jerk bait. <laughs> See, I got him thinking that that's a there's one. That's a bigger one there than do drop a weight. What a day, man. Oh, that is a pretty good one right there. there. Oh, look up, look up, look up. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a great big one. It's a great big one. Oh, my gosh, was that huge. I'm trying there to was look. one swimming with that right there that was. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, holy. Here, double, double pick. Look at that. Yeah, free the Dang. fighter. Free the fighter. <laughs> double. You see what I'm thinking? I let that one go down. I was hoping he was going to eat the jerk bait out of his the mouth. The one that was following was a great big one. Yeah, it was a mega con. Yeah. I, might, I tell you, I might just slide that jig on up there, see what happens. Yeah, I'm, I'm about with you on that, too. <laughs> What's that? I have it. Yeah. Yep. I thought so. Yeah, it's 14 1. 12. 12. It's 12. Was it 12? I think it's 12 and change. I big eyed it. <laughs> Suits like that one. That was a really nice one following. I saw two this morning, two when it was really early that were. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look, look, look below the boat. Oh. That's the one that just yeah. followed you in. Hey, I'm gonna slide that jig on out there. Yeah, I think I might too, because I'm just not gonna let you do that deal all by yourself for a couple minutes anyways. It's so fun when they go Tunk! As much as I like catching them jerking, That structure jig is, if you fish. We got 35 minutes of zone alive. If you fish in lakes that have grass, this is the greatest deal ever because of that head design right there. I mean, it slides, it's, it, it stands up like a football jig, but it comes through the grass like a swim jig. Hey, real quick, talk to them about that trailer real quick, what you were talking about earlier. I think that's really cool. The, uh, just the chunk on there with it's just the straight chunk. Yeah. For cold water, you want a subtler action. And when when you're uh, you know fishing a jig like this, it's just it, it's just got a, a flat tail. I can show it again. Why are you doing that to me? Where I got to reel my stuff in to show it? I mean, I just thought one locked up tight. I love a rage road. crawl. It's got a ton of action. But these pinchers on this, they're just a little fatter on the end. So when it comes through the water, it just kind of undulates a little bit. And boy, when it's cold. That's what you want is just that glide and that just that that flutter to it. They don't want that that pounding action of the rage crawl, but that subtle action of the rage bug that swims, they sure like that. But those tails are much smaller than a rage rage crawl. Are you moving? Or are you are you? No, I'm right on it. I'm right on the mark. Okay. Right on it. I want to really feel it go. Dunk! Oh, it's been a special, magical, magical day. About one more cast for this jig. It's about done already, aren't you? <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> Man, it's hard to believe it's gonna warm up as it is tomorrow and the next day. I think it's, there's Smoke? rain still gonna be here tomorrow. Yeah. No, 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 no. No. Is it gonna be through? It uh, storms on Saturday morning. Saturday morning? Yep. But warm storms. Oh. Uh. Bringing, the, bringing the thunder? Okay. 
Jerk and twitch. You know, we're not even. You know, we were sitting there. We were sitting. We're not even to the juice yet. We were, we were sitting there talking yesterday about taping with Hackney. That show airs in a couple weeks. And what show? Oh, the one we taped a couple weeks ago, and we did that zone alive. And, and and here's what's interesting is, I'm dead serious about. If you look at him, it's taken me a while to to think of this through. Tell me if I'm right on this. He looks like an Ewok. From Return of the Jedi. <laughs> you know, that's not the first time anybody said that. He looks just like an Ewok. Okay, we're getting right into juicy juice. Fifteen minutes till the pop. What do we got? Little, little, little. Smallest one of the day. Mm, I've caught several smaller. That jerk bait will. The jerk bait will find them all sizes. minutes till your final power hour suit and Kevin already has he has a he has a uh, question picked but it's it could still be it could topped. be trumped it could be trumped uh oh no we got 15 more minutes for the helix 10 for the helix 10 mega imaging helix 10 got it that's a walleye that's a walleye. The way he bit. That's a dadgum walleye. Yep. Nope. Nope. He fiddled with you, didn't he? He did. Big head shake. Yeah, I would say. You never know with the jerk bait the way they get hooked. Something. Oh, it's a mackerel. Uh, just a, a mackerel. T bone mackerel. It's a big one, just the wrong. Well, I would knock the side off of that <laughs> thing. Some fine eating right that there. Some fine eating, man. Wow. <sighs> I mean, he got all of it. Well, too. I mean, we have trashed this boat. <laughs> we have destroyed this boat. Best part is, is he never touched the line either. I don't think. Nope. A lot of people think you catch a pike, you're in a bad spot. Uh uh. Pike and bass <laughs> up here eat the same stuff. I gotta get a new bug. Go ahead. Got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh go gosh, ahead, go ahead. here we go. <laughs> He's back on the trolling motor. Hear whizzing going by. Just be glad I'm not throwing that 10 XD. Wes was on the engine last year. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nine foot rod now, Wes. Yeah. There's no place, even the engine's not safe.
Look, 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 look. Wes, look, look at that. Ah. You can run it if you want. No, 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 no way. No way. It's all you, bud. I don't mind throwing straight way up there. I've had just as many bites way up on top. There's not tall grass here, like. All right. Suit, you got them locked up, lined up. Ready to go. Okay. I'm itching. No, not yet, not yet, not oh. yet, not yet. Oh, Let a couple more filter Dad. in. I'm gonna give some precursors what's coming up in the next few months. Believe we're doing, uh, we'll, be, we'll be doing uh, an Iconelli one on a smallmouth fishery, not too far from here, uh, end of summer. And uh, potentially setting up a Jordan Lee, Lake Gunnersville, a month from now. Uh, we'll be down there shooting a bunch of regular Zona shows and may do, oh, I'm talking about a good one, may do a fifth one in the fall. Don't have it locked in date-wise yet. Uh, a Millax one with Seth, Seth Fighter. I'd like to do the dang Smith Lake topwater. Oh, gosh. That was so fun. That was so much fun. That place when it's on is, oof. It's kind of about like this place when it's on. It's a good, good place yeah. to be, isn't it? Good place to be. We down to crunch time, 25 minutes. It's literally gone from pre-front to front to post-front during this entire four-hour show today. Uh-huh. Uh -oh. Hey, Such, what we're gonna do real quick, we're gonna fish past about another 50 yards, okay? And then we're gonna run to one little deal out in the middle of the lake, and we're gonna kill the day out there, okay? Gotcha. Eric, you got that? Copy. We're leaving in like three or four casts. I just thought of a good question. Who who might be the next to retire? Like a Shaw, or an ooh, Elias, ooh. a Biffle. Uh... You got any insight on that, KVD? Bass fishermen don't retire. From the elites. Oh. I'd hate to guess. We all believe in our own mind that we can do it forever. <laughs> Physically, though. You can't. It's a sport you can. Well, yes and no. What do you mean by that? You, you physically, uh, you physically, it's not, I mean, competing is one thing, but competing at the top level, you know, you end up being where you have to change your fishing style because your physical, your body breaks down. You know, I mean, uh, you know, Denny Brower with his back issues, he, he physically, oh, uh-uh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Daggum stud. It's a daggum stud if it's not a pike. I think it's a pike, dude. It's too big. Big head shake. Really? Yeah, yeah it's a it's a, it's it's a, a big big mackerel. Ooh. Gator Kong. That is a gas louse. I know. I don't know what to do. I got him. Gosh. Got him. Oh, that's a nice one. He has the perfect size to fry at your party tonight. It's like perfect. That's what we call a rice lamb right. special. It is perfect. 
Sucks. Scott Rook would be proud of me. Right people that one feed right there. Ooh. Huh? Sush. <laughs> Make it a couple more casts and we roll it. What I like. Ooh, milfoil. No milfoil, no spawnies. Look at that. I need some oil. Oh, nice. How much time we got? 20 minutes? Yeah, we, we, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. No, we'll go. Let's just a uh, couple more casts right here and we're going to end up one spot. No milfoil, no spawnies. Boy, it has been a fun day, Uncle yeah. KVD. I would have just expected with a pike right there that there's going to be a couple good ones. Right. Launch it. Okay, we gone. We gone. Real quick run, real quick run. End of the tournament mode. Okay. Everybody at home, I want to say huge, huge thanks. Number one, a enormous happy Easter to everybody. Hope you guys have a great weekend. No milfoil, no spawnies. <laughs> but I mean this sincerely. Um, thanks for hanging with us today. We're got, we've got uh, we got like 15 minutes left to have fun, and we're going to announce our grand prize winner of a brand new Humminbird Helix 10 Mega Imaging Unit. Same exact unit we've been goofing with here all day long. And what a day it has been. You ready? Kevin, I'm going to bring you downwind of it and come back towards it. Hold on. Let's see what it's doing. It's making a map. There's a hump right out here. See that hump? And that auto chart live, if you notice this, what we did is before we started live this morning, what I did was I ran over it. You could see it's 24, 24, 18, 18. And that auto chart showed exactly that hump right there. And it, the, the fish should come right on that little corner right there. So the top of it's going to be right there, dog. Yeah, I see it. No milk for you, no spawnings. I've had fun, Wes. I love you. I love you. You want me to? It's going to be right that way. Bass boat. Yep. Oh, look, another bass boater. Look, 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 look. Look who we ain't seen all day long. 
Fishing my transition fish right there. Pre-spawners. Fennermans. Look, look, look. What a day to be out. Could be crappie or... No, he's bassing. Okay, now we're getting close. I would think that'd be a pretty good corner right there, too. Or is it that? Oh, I'm, I'm in grass. Mm -hmm. We're going to be on the east corner of it, so we need to... Sooch, three minutes, power hour. Ready to roll. I feel like it's the last 15 of a tournament. What's my 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 best? Uh, I tied David Dudley in a uh, tournament years ago. I tied him for the win uh, on Lake Vermilion. On Lake Vermilion, and. Uh, mm. I caught one. This is no joke. It's actually not my best, one of my worst. I caught one in the last 10 to 15 minutes that would have gave me about another six ounces, five or six ounces. And I had it hooked deep, but it was like literally the last 10 minutes of the tournament. I thought, gosh, I'm not sure he'll make it to check in. And I let him go. <laughs> and I ended up losing. <laughs> if I would have put him in the in the live well and risked it, risked it, I, I'd have I'd have beat Dudley. I had uh, cabbage on the hooks. Did you? Yeah, I'm in good grass, really good. Such fire! Sari Chow, who is number one on your list that you have not fished with? And where would you go with them? That's on me. Both of you. Sari Chow, number one on my list that I've never fished with, and where would I go? That's easy for me. My current list right now? I would say, um, I'm not gonna lie, just because he's a motivator, is I would go Mike Ditka. Ooh, I mean that, I thought one locked up. I'd say Mike Ditka. And I'd want to go right back to this lake right here. Right here. Mike Ditka. Kevin? I'd go straight up Donald Trump, Gros Savant. Oh, wow. yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Because we would dang sure catch him there. Make Louis Louisiana great again. Go ahead, yeah. fire. If you only had one piece of electronics like the Helix 10, where would you install it? Front of boat or dash? Ooh, that's a good question. I'd install it right here. Nope. Do you have one? God, oh, I'd install it right here, but I'd put it on a pivot mount where you could turn it around and use it on both. There you yeah. go. Kevin, same? Yeah, you have to. You, you got to be able to use it. You got to be able to use it on both. You got to have two linked together. Look at that cabbage. Look at that, Wes. That is the That is the, the juice of the juice right there. That is what? That's what makes magic. That is what we're fishing the rest of the weekend on every lake we tape on, right there. <laughs> it lasts all winter. Matt Fisher has a good one. If you had to pick one song for KVD to sing at karaoke night to embarrass him, what would it be? And then vice versa. One song to embarrass That's easy. I would go... Um, Whitney Houston, I will always love you. Uh, I would, <laughs> KVD wins. I will always love you. I would want to see him do Purple Rain by Prince. Oh. I would. I really would. I was like I a really senior would. in I high school. I totally would want to see him do that. Scott Hosman asked KVD, if you go, go back in time and use today's Hummingbird technology, what tournament would you like a do-over at? Oh, all of them. Oh, my God. <laughs> all the ones you didn't win? Every single one. I, I'm going to tell you, if I'd have had Mega Imaging back when I first started fishing offshore, it would have been a beatdown of epic proportions. But, but that's true, not just for me, anybody. God, I hope we picked the right spot to finish it. 
straight, straight winds. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to follow that. Michigan Melon Heads. <laughs> That's his name? Michigan That's Melon Heads? Who's tweeted it in. Ask KVD and Zona. Would you want your kids to fish professional with all that comes along with it or to just be a fisherman? I want them to do what they want to do. I'm going to support them if they do, support them if they don't. I'd like Hunter and Jacob to be, uh, one to be a physical therapist and the other one to be a doctor, uh, an attorney, a dentist, something like that. You know what I mean? Fish on the weekends. Gotcha. It's a tough gig, man. Joshua Goodwin. From start to the later years of your career has it become easier over the years to be on the road away from your family. You kind of had that earlier. Missing out on the small stuff and your wife. I can tell you the best part of my job is my job and the worst part of my job is my job yep. being gone. That, that, but here, here's the thing though, and, and, and I mean this when I say this, it's the best job on earth. Covering these guys for over a decade and, and doing fishing shows, it, it's the best. But being, I, I mean, the camera guys, Wes and Eric and you, Such, and Kevin, what you what you do. But the, the hard part is, and, 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 and it's not me complaining about it, the hard part is being gone 220 days a year. That's hard. 240 days a year, that's hard, you know? You come back and like reintroduce yourself to the way your family lives. Yeah, yeah. Kevin, what's the longest you've ever been away in one stretch? Or both of you, really? One stretch. Uh, I think Kevin's been gone a month. And, and I've he, seen the family. And, and literally went fishing with me today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chris Mobley asked, what are your favorite spring colors to look throw here. for oh, no. free spawn oh, bass? Oh, look, it's a black crappie. It's so crappy. Look at here. Yeah. Say it again, Such. Favorite colors for a pre-spawn bass. It just depends on the, it's not, a, it's about the forage, you know, and the type of bait. So. To me, the lakes in Michigan, anything that looks like a bluegill. Yeah. It, a bluegill or a perch, has to. Yep. It, that's all we, if you really look at what we've done today, everything we've thrown looks like a bluegill or a perch. Yep. The jig, the rage bug, the jerk bait. A lot of lakes in the south, it's crawfish. You, you know, you want crawfish colored baits, red, stuff like brown. But in the shad lakes, pretty hard to beat a sexy shad jerk bait, you know? Got about 10 minutes left. Keep going, Suge. John Scipione, what are Zona's favorite nachos? Who is that from? Oh, dude, that's easy. John Scipione. John Scipione. Barbecue Maybe. pulled pork, I, cilantro I, covered. I, I will tell you, the barbecue pulled par pork from Ooh. Table Rock at Big Cedar Lodge, bud. Those are Kevin and I'll be there Monday night. I mean, we gonna knock the fire out of some. Brandon Rogers. Will these tactics work down here in Kentucky on our smallmouth waters? such as Lake Cumberland and Dale Hollow. Yep. I'm gonna tell you, that thing right there on Cumberland and Dale Hollow, there you go. Rage Swimmer, KVD Magic, there you go. Jerkmate, too, for sure. KVD, Eddie Thayer is asking, what is one thing Eddie you still Thayer. like to accomplish? Yeah, hey. He used to be on the forum. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's always commenting. What's the one thing you would still like to accomplish in life, Kevin? Gosh. Wow. Five and ten? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. From a fishing standpoint. I want to do Zone Alive like every month. <laughs> hey, hold on. We can arrange that, old friend. <laughs> Is that an accomplishment? Yeah. Hey, trust me, we can get us a contract out. You satisfied with that answer, Kate Mark? Say it again. Are you satisfied with his answer? That winning. What do you want as an accomplishment goal left in his life? He's already done it, man. Seriously. What, if, 
I if he goes, listen, I don't do it for that. If he goes on to win this or win that or win this or and last year win three, and, ah, he's done to me. He's done more for the fishing industry, getting people involved, teaching people. To me, great, hey, his trophies are great. They're wonderful, but he's taught more people about fishing. And to me, that's a huge accomplishment. What about you? What do you want accomplishment? Zona, so what? Oh, I, in all honesty, I would like to be doing my regular show and I'd like to equal it a number with Zona live shows a year, then I would be. Okay, Mary yeah. Stoner wants to know, who were your mentors who taught you to fish? My, mine's right over my right hand shoulder. Taught you. <laughs> yeah, and the other one's actually over your shoulder, Vandy. Did you get a picture of Vandy? It's one of my mentors right there. I mean, that boy and I have done hey. fish some turnies, boy. <laughs> yes, sir. How's it going, Eric? Kevin, do you have a mentor? Oh, well, I'm really lucky. My dad took me ice fishing when I was three, and it that's what started this whole thing, fascination for the water. And, um, you know, my older brother helped me out a lot when I uh, was coming up. He started fishing tournaments and got that whole tournament buzz in, into my uh, mind. But I have a whole bunch of them that, you know, the legends <laughs> out there, the, you know, Tommy Martin and Larry Nixon and who again? Klon and Denny Brower, a lot of those guys that, um, that I used to. All right, we got against. a uh, request to put you guys in a cage match. You two, Biffle and Hackney, who's going to come out? We, we, we're fast. We're fast. I don't think Biffle like and Hackney. I'm like a spider monkey. Yeah, I don't think Biffle and Hackney. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. You wouldn't want either one of those to catch you. Yeah. You know what I mean? God I would never let them catch you. I would Iron Lotus Hackney so fast. Here you go. Bad spot. David Jung, what are Z and Kevin's thoughts on keeping other anglers slash spectators off the lake during a big tournament? I know oh, it's impossible. He knows it's impossible. You can't do that. And we, we, hey. Part of the unique thing about our sport is that people can go out and, and watch these guys and, and see it. You know, the, the, what I always say is just if you're, if, you know, if, if you're being a spectator, just be a good one. Watch the tournament. Kevin, you can go ahead and answer that how you want it. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's public water. 99% of the people that are out there are not trying to affect the competition. The 1% that does kind of gives the other 99 a bad name, but um, it's part of it, man. Us fans who watch it and see a guy like Little Greg and go, what What are you really thinking, dude? Come on. You, you can't go into a, your own personal tournament against the lead. All right, next. Scrubby McScrubberson. Austin Taylor. Kevin, if you didn't take up fishing, who do you think would have been the hammer for the last 20 years of the uh, Bassmaster Tour? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Last 20 years? Ooh, that's a uh, good one. It's a good one. Last 20 years? There's Such so tighten up over there, dog. Come on, man. There's five minutes me. left, bro. I don't got one. Aaron would have had a Aaron would have had a good run there for a while. And, oh. We're catching nothing. And, and all the way west. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to. No, I want to get me that deep real quick. Yeah. Well, you gave me this one. That's how hey, you, you get a hat. It, you I'm going to just jerk over the top. You put on a live hat and you get a... They got to be a oh, I got a question, MZ, from Twitter handle. Kevin, if you were not a bass fisherman, what would you have done for a living? I'd probably be still just where I'm going to be tomorrow <laughs> at my brother's shop at DNR selling boats. And, and trying to be a bass fisherman. I heard you were the best bass boat salesman in Michigan at one time. I was, I was better than you. <laughs> five minutes left, you need to wrap up in five minutes. Five minutes left. Kevin, Such, one last question, dog. Gavin Legal, hey Z, do you think KVD ever gets jealous of your budding bromance with Brent Ayler? I'm gonna have to <laughs> let him answer that. Because Brent and I don't like each other. We love each other. We do. It don't bother me. I know the real Z. Brent Ayler's my spirit animal, Suit. I am not a jealous person. 
Let okay, we're going around with all share. his other buddies. <laughs> Kevin, so, so you need to uh, award somebody. The winning, the winning one, the question for me, and I can't remember, uh, but it was about the, it was about the names of of our bass, of what we call nicknames. The, uh, nicknames that we call Who the big was bass. That? Josh Snyder. Josh Snyder's won him a Helix 10 Mega Imaging yes. Unit. Oh man, I bet he's jumping question. up and down. Helix 10? Josh oh, Snyder. You won a Helix 10. Helix 10. Wow, Humminbird, Helix 10. What are you doing there? I'll tell wow. you what I'm doing. And Josh Snyder is not the only winner in my eyes and my heart. What I have right here, now we didn't have a real big budget and I misspelled his name. <laughs> Zone Alive, guest of the century, Calvin <laughs> Van Dam. Come and accept this. Come and accept this right here. There it is. There it is. Oh. Calvin oh. Van Dam. There it is. <laughs> that is it, my friend. So we have Game given over. everything away. And gotta say something. Huge thanks in all honesty to everybody on Bassmaster.com. Everybody that helped me. I gotta give this. the people so who sent me ahead, questions to Sarah Fry, Sobleski, and, and your wife Karen really helped so much that I would have everybody. not been able to hear anything from you. No doubt. They're sending me the questions. Go, you're, that's it. Oh, I'm still casting. Uh, it, it, seriously, thank you so much for watching all of this today. Everybody, like I said, from Bassmaster, everybody at JM Associates, the crew, right? Wes, EK, Eric Kafka, so. Toughing it out. Vandy. In the ring. My boy. KVD, you've been fantastic. What a day. I mean, you almost got to roll out with some of those fish catches, don't you? Or not, but I mean, I would think that's the way you do it. We will see you on the next Zone Alive. And big thanks to Humminbird. Huge thanks. See y'all. Happy Easter. Fuck, fuck. Are you kidding me? That's a day. Six plus right there. That was. Burr, 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 burr. Give it up, Wes. Do it. Thank you. King Kong showed up right there, dude. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs>